What's up, Pat? Give me one second now. What's up, Rob? Let me get this shirt out, guys. And then we can officially begin. Hey, what's up, Anthony? How are you doing today, man? Alright, we'll just get this posted in my Discord. And we can officially start. Uh, let's see, Rod says, trying to catch me a good poison Pokemon. There's not too many poison Pokemon in this game, surprisingly. Or at least ones I don't remember. But anyways, we get posted. Alright, we are good. Alright, we are good to go. Pat says, got that Goomy folly. Dude, GG's, man. GG's. Alright, let me connect to the internet. Pat with the like. Thank you, Pat. And then we can officially start today's session. Yeah, tomorrow will be the uh, Greninja event. And I'm looking forward to it. What's up, Sam? Sam says, what's going on? Just starting today's session. Rob says, Toxtricity. That is true. Toxtricity is a good one. <clears throat> Electric and... Uh, Poison. He was a pretty cool Pokemon last gen. Rod says, or Clodsire. Clodsire is not bad either. We got Sam with the like as well. Thank you, Sam. All right. Did I even connect to the internet? I did. I did. So, guys, we're going to do some raids. And then you guys know how it is. Then I'm going to switch over to some shiny hunting and just kind of go from there. But tomorrow. <clears throat> and Saturday, we will, in fact, be doing our Greninja events. Three-star, we don't need three-star. We have Anthony with the like and Nigel with the like. Thank you, guys. Sam says, been trying to work, but it's too dang cold out. Ah, I mean, it was kind of cold yesterday. Nigel says, morning, morning, Nigel. How are you doing today, dude? Pat says, and while I was getting that Goomy, I got three shiny GP, but my Goomy strategy would be worth three hour hunt. Hey, that was good. We got Daniel with the like, too. Thank you, Daniel. See, I don't, ha I can't catch Treepy in this one. That would have to be, um, <clears throat> Violet, in which I get him. But, I haven't done Violet in a minute because I don't have any raid-ready Pokemon in that one. There we go. Five star, a bomb of snow. Let's go ahead and get it. Sam says, I got 373 out of 400. Nice, bro. Very, very nice. <clears throat> uh, Anthony says, I was missing the stream yesterday, brother, but I know you was cooking some up. No, yesterday, um, yesterday I ended up, uh, taking just a break. Uh, definitely needed it. Went out. <coughs> Um, goodness, went out yesterday because I haven't been out of my house in God knows how long. And usually when I go out, it's literally just to get food. But no, nah, yesterday I got out, out, went and um, went to GameStop, went and got some drinks and some uh, actually something to eat that was really good. And uh, just kind of spent the day out, uh, played a game solo. And just kind of had a me day. I, I needed it. <laughs> well, I'm trying to get out. I really needed a me day. So I went out and I had one. Uh, however, I was talking to Angel last night about Pokemon for our Shiny Sunday session. So I'll be getting Pokemon from her, I believe, Friday night and Sunday night <clears throat> for our big giveaway. Uh, we got Gamby. Uh, Gambio in. Welcome. That is Rob, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Nigel says, I'm not sure whether in going for Gastrodon or Toxicity. It depends on which one takes longer to level up. Uh, I'm going to be using Claude Sire and uh, Gastrodon. That's who I'm going to be using. Rob says, I shouldn't do this. I have no good poison 
uh, steal Pokemon. Hey, man. Just do these with me, my man. It doesn't matter if we win or lose. These are for fun. Pat says, I have two left. Two left. One I'm using as a Pokemon. A competitive team. Two, I don't know what I'm going to, to do. Hey, man. Hey. It's all good, as long as you are having fun with the game. Oh, wait. Actually, yeah. Rob makes a good point. I should use my, uh, my Iron Hands. Uh, which I actually, I haven't got shown to you guys, but I did finally, it took forever, I did finally organize my entire boxes. I did that off stream one day, and, uh, so I have everything organized, I have future shiny boxes, ready to go, got my raid ready Pokemon, in a box, giveaways, that sort of shit. I have finally organized every single box. Daniel says, I got a few builds to try. Alright, Daniel. Sweet. Sam says, trying to get some more Pokemon Raid ready. I need to as well. I definitely need to as well. Rob says, it's me. yeah, I know, I know. It took me a minute. I remember that name, though. So, welcome in to the first one of the day, Rob. Oh, goodness. All right. You, you gonna ice punch me? Well, I'm gonna ice punch you. See how you like it. Uh, Daniel says, want me to make you a set four I have. A set of four for what, Daniel? Oh, I don't know what he did. I think he took my Terra Orb. I also think I'm frozen. Yep, I'm frozen. <laughs> I'm not the only one that's frozen, damn it. We got a new heal up. Uh, Pat says, but I need two more Pokemon for the team because I want to have, want to look as that one Asian guy that has a full Shiny team competitive for the next two are Serena and Sylveon. Ooh, that'd be kind of interesting. I do have a team uh, ready to go for Sir Chester's Discord stuff. Daniel says, four Pokemon I have to try for Kredja. Uh, I will be all right. I have two Pokemon for it that uh, Byron made me, Daniel. I have a Claude Sire and a Gastrodon for right now. Who are the, who are the four you're going to be using? So let's go ahead and do a drain punch. Daniel says, all right. Yeah, I appreciate it, but I already have some stuff ready for uh, Greninja tomorrow. Oh. He keeps freezing me. Uh, morning, Mitchell. Mitchell says, morning, my friends. How are you doing today, Mitchell? Uh, Pat says, oh, and I have one advice for you as a Leaf Ford member. Watch out for those Castrodons. Yeah, true. That is true. Alright, I'm unfrozen. <laughs> and Rob's frozen. Yeah, I keep getting frozen myself, man. Uh oh. Oh, uh, we got Mitchell with a like. Thank you, Mitchell. And Daniel also says, hey, Mitchell. Okay. There we go. So the stance is broke, or his shield's broke, I should say, not stance. So he should be easy enough to defeat. One more hit, and he will be dead. Alright, 
There we go. GG's, Rob. All right, so he is done for, so let us go from there. No Urban Mystica, but that is all right. <clears throat> all right, so as soon as I find another five star, I'll have it up for you guys. I just got to run to the restroom real quick. And Mitchell says, hey, Daniel. All right, so let's go. Mitch says, finally got the shiny charm. Very nice, bro. Like I said, I know those take forever. You guys saw me here doing one of them. And that took us quite a while to do, unfortunately. <clears throat> All right. So let's go over here, check out this then, and see who we got. Okay. So there we go. Let's go ahead and get him up. And while you guys out there put that code up, I'll be right back. I have to run to the restroom real quick. I'll be right back. Oh, goodness. All right. Sorry about that, everybody. All right. We got Christian with the share. Thank you, Christian. <clears throat> hey, what's up, Peyton? All right, I'm getting, I'm going back up to, to chat. All right, so it's been 45 seconds, so we should be good to start this one. Uh, Peyton, uh, or sorry. Mitch says, Salem traded the rest of the mods I need. Hey, nice, bro. Nice. Peyton says, how's it going, Blake and Chad? Hey, Peyton, how are you doing? We also have Peyton with the like. I almost missed that. Thank you, Peyton. Um, Mitch says, Daniel, does Greninja come out today or tomorrow? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Daniel says, oh, sorry, I forgot to help. I had so much going on, I forgot. And Mitchell says, no worries. Um... Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> Sam says, anyone able to trade for Violet exclusive for Scarlet? Ah, uh, who are you missing, Sam? I'm sure there's people in our Discord that are, can help, too. There's nobody that can help right here today as well. Danielle says, tonight. I thought it was tomorrow. I don't think it officially starts for us till tomorrow, Friday. Unless, fr unless it starts at midnight or some shit. But I'm not staying up that late. Uh, Peyton says, I'm never going to be able to tell the difference for this damn shiny Ghastly. Yeah, shiny Ghastly, like, in this game. He's kind of hard to tell with that, doubt. Hey, what's up, Christian? Christian with the big eyes in the wave. How are you doing today, man? 
save says all of them. Oh, goodness. Yeah, you have quite a few then. So I want to say it's even with like evolution, it's uh, it's probably about thirty-ish Pokemon. Like I, I know it takes a while. I know it's quite a good number. So I want to say we had about thirty or forty left. <clears throat> Daniel says, no, 4 p.m. PT, 6 p.m. for us, which is midnight for GTM time. Okay, all right. That's kind of cool. Sam says, yeah, yeah, like, it's pain, but since you're on Scarlet doing it, um, Sam, it shouldn't take that long, considering that majority of people went with, um, it says majority of people went with, uh, Violet. Not too many people did Scarlet, because I remember, um, for a while, I was doing the code trade method off-stream in Pokemon Violet. However, my problem was trying to get somebody paired who had Scarlet. Like, it takes forever if you're on Violet. However, if you're on Scarlet, I feel like it's way faster than it was that, you know, the trade code for uh, Pokemon type thing. Chris says, just drinking gin. Hey, nice, bro. No, I'm not too big on gin. I'm, eh. Gin's never been one of my things. But other than that, hope you're doing good, Christian. Uh, Peyton says, you ain't getting sick, are you? So it's having a bit, uh, stu uh, stuffing and stuff. Uh, not getting sick, it's just allergies, man. My weather has been bipolar as fuck the past few days. It went from being super hot, super cold, to being, uh, kind of medium. And, uh, it's going from there. Chris says, don't mind me. Dude, you're fine, Christian. You are fine, my guy. A is, uh, attack decreased, hell yeah. Oh, he's dead. <clears throat> Payton says, okay, good, don't want you to go through what I did with COVID. I've had, I had COVID one time, my man. I got it from my brother, unfortunately, one day. And, uh, it sucked. It, it wasn't great, but, eh, it was, uh, I lived. <laughs> All right, so we caught him. Rob says, I'm coming. All right, no worries, Rob. I'm going to get up another one for us. No Urban Mystica, but that's all right. But as a reminder, guys, tomorrow we will, in fact, be doing Greninja raids practically the entire day, both Friday and Saturday. But we will not be doing it Sunday because that is our big, big giveaway. That is our si shiny Sunday, of course. Which I was really ho I was kind of hoping they would do them during the week, but so that way we could do all three days, as well as uh, do him, uh, as well as being able to you know do our uh, shiny Sunday event. But either way, I know for a fact we should be able to do it. Rob says, "Oh, I missed it." Yeah, we were uh, we were in that one for a minute, Rob. But you are good, my man. You are good. All right. Uh, Payton says, any news on what's going to be best for, uh, for Nedra? No, we will have more information definitely tomorrow, uh, for him, Payton. Uh, I'm still going to be using both Gastrodon and Claude Sire for it. I have two Raid Ready 6IV ones that I think are going to be really helpful. In fact, the one that, uh, this is what I have. I have this Gastrodon right here. I'll go ahead and show you. So this is what I have. He, he's a Gen 1 uh, that Byron made for me. But, uh, if, first of all, his stats are fucking insane. Look at that special attack. 311 for that. Um, his ability is Storm Drain, so anytime Greninja were to use a um, <clears throat> water-based move, I instead take that move and boost my SP instead. 
So I don't have to have SP attack. Head for moves. I have Earth Power, which is 90. Amnesia, which boosts my special defense, which is great because he might be both a special defense, he might be a special and a physical attacker. <laughs> Chilling Water, which makes it so that it uh, lowers the target's attack power, which is great in case he starts using attack power. And then I also have Recover to uh, get some health back. So that is what I'm going to be going for. If it doesn't work, then we'll have more information tomorrow for it and go from there. Uh, <clears throat> Rob says, I got two ability patch back to back somehow yesterday. Very nice, bro. Very nice. I, I'm starting to feel like ability patches are kind of starting to become more common to us than uh, herbs. Payton says, interesting. Gaster looking pretty good indeed. Yes. Like I said, that is Pokemon that I have recommended for the raids. Uh, while well, you guys out there have recommended um, Claude Sire, Vaporeon, and there was one more. I just can't remember who it was off the top of my head right now. But either way, I'm pretty sure we are going to get as many as possible for tomorrow's events. And I'm looking forward to it. I like Greninja. <clears throat> and once we catch Greninja, you guys know what I'll be doing this shiny Sunday for our shiny hunt. We will be going for Greninja. Or Froakie, I should say, not Greninja, but you guys know what I mean. <clears throat> so yeah. And also for Shiny Sunday, uh, I was talking to Angel about it last night. Me and her got on a phone call together for a little bit before I passed out. We will be doing... How we did last Shiny Sunday in which um, somebody will win a huge, huge prize pool if they hatch w this one particular Pokemon. I'm not going to say what Pokemon it is right until the day of it. And you guys out there will not know what we get. Beard of Vet with the like. What's up, Beard of Vet? How are you doing today, dude? <clears throat> uh, Mitchell says, Daniel, could you build me... A few mons for Greninja, and Daniel says yes, question mark. Peyton says, I'll never get to start Shiny Froki hatching because this damn cat starter won't be shiny for me. <laughs> anyway, just don't give up on it. Just don't give up on it, Peyton. You got this, man. Look, you see, you see how ridiculous my shiny look has been lately. So, hopefully, man... It will, some of it will rub over on you, Peyton. Uh, Daniel says, yeah, I got you. I'll make you a set of the four I have for myself. All right, sweet, Daniel. Sweet. Okay, it's so another four star. So I think we got to go check this island now. And then we have everything but that water one for this little isle area. I also finally got my actual good vapor flavor. Oh, and it tastes so damn good. I haven't had it in so long. Like, you guys don't know, like, uh, how much I missed it. Alright, uh, we'll go check out the steel one. Yeah, and kind of go from there. Uh, Peyton says, you're gonna have to slap the shit out of me to get us uh, some like Nah, nah, I won't slap you, bro. I won't slap you. I'll just kind of, you know, I'll dust some up on you. There you go, Peyton. That was for you, bro. Just dust some up on you. Uh, also, um, I am in the process. Uh, I can't exactly tell you when this is going to be, but it, it's going to be a while. There we go. Five star. Uh, change my Pokemon. Let's see. Who do I have that would be good for you? Uh, I'll use... Nah, screw it. I'll use my Iron Hands again. Um, <clears throat> so, when, uh... Hey, what's up, Simon? How are you doing? Mitch says slap it. Uh, so as you guys know, I shiny hunt a lot. I've been shiny hunting a lot on here, and one thing I'm gonna want to do is have, like, the, uh, Pokemon that we're currently hunting for, as well as, uh, Simon with the like. Thank you, Simon. As well as, like, past shiny Pokemon, so I was asking uh, Dakota if he knew what I was talking about, and 
Unfortunately, he did know what he did know what I was talking about, but he doesn't know how to do it. So he's kind of looking into that for me. So that way, during our shiny hunts, we can have that on there. We got Nigel in. Welcome, Nigel. So yeah, that way when we shiny hunt, we'll have a little gif of the Pokemon and go from there. Beard of S has just got an E to be X, Y, and Evo Ooh, dude. E Evolutions, Beard of Vet, is my favorite set. And that's, I, I don't even want to know the price you paid for that. Because I know an ETB I've announced about 230 bucks right now. We also have Rob back in, and we got Mitchell in. All right, sweet. We got a full team. Uh, I almost bought yesterday, which I almost bought a couple things. I almost bought, but I found it cheaper. Um, the Charizard Premium Collection box. I really want to get one uh, for my personal sealed collection. So later on, I am going to buy that. Um, not going to open it, though, because those things I feel like are going to go skyrocket in price. But right now, the price has come down a little bit because they had some more out. So hopefully, 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 I'll be able to get one there. Uh, Sam says, sorry, I'm just in now looking for uh, looking at codes for trading. Oh, you're good, man. You're good. Beard of Ed says, paid under that. Hey, that's good if you paid under that, man. See, my brother found a couple of um of the Blastoise ones, because there's two ones for Evolutions. There's Blastoise and Charizard. Uh, he found them that were back stock at Walmart. Uh, this is... You gotta think, this is when, you know, uh, the set is just stupid expensive. Um, and he came home with two of them, I'm like, bro, how much do you want for one? And he won't sell me one, unfortunately. I have my booster box that I'm never opening of it. And the, the I'm missing the ETBs as well as the long stem Raichu pack, uh, the blisters for it. For my evolutions collection, so maybe one day I'll be able to find them again. Uh, Mitchell says you could buy these nuts. Uh, nah, I'm good. Uh, Beard Vet says day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I almost got a VR as well for the PlayStation. It, it was it was a fair price. It was a hundred bucks for it. <clears throat> uh, the reason I didn't get it though is it didn't come with the uh, PlayStation camera or the motion controls because I feel like. Some VR games for the channel would be a lot of fun as well. Bottle cap, but no urban best. Good GG's though, that one's quick. <clears throat> we got Anthony laughing in chat. But yeah, uh, Beard of Vet, like, if you found one and you paid under that price for it, like, GG's, man. I would personally keep it sealed for my sealed collection. But if you open it, let us know what you pulled, man. Evolution, like, a lot of people got tired of Evolutions, and then out of nowhere people were like, oh man, it's such a great set. I just personally fucking love that set. That was the set that got me back into collecting Pokemon cards, like, uh, really, really hard, because, you know, nostalgia purposes, seeing that old artwork and everything like that for me. <clears throat> and as soon as, uh, you know, that set came out, I was like, oh no. <laughs> uh, Payton says, have you gotten any Crown Zenith yet? No, I did not. One of the things I found weird, uh, they did have Crown Zenith at this GameStop. Uh, they had ETBs of it. They didn't have any single packs, otherwise I might have gotten a single, couple single packs. Instead of being uh, 49 bucks for the ETB, it was uh, 60 And I was like, whoa, this isn't a subset. This is a main set. Why is this one so expensive? So I was like, no, nope, I'm going to pass on this one right now. Uh, there we go. <laughs> wow, we are getting good with our... Uh, let me go ahead and switch Pokemon. Uh, hey, what's up, Lucy? How are you doing? Lucy says, good afternoon. I just says, does anyone know where to find bottle caps so good? Uh, I don't know if they sell good or not. We got Lu uh, Lucy with the like. Thank you, Lucy. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, I personally don't sell stuff in the game, so I couldn't tell you. Uh, Payne says, yeah, I got pissed GameStop did that, but thankfully I got GameStop shop that was selling for 50 yeah, see, like, I, I was kind of, uh, I was kind of confused. What's up, Craig? How are you doing today? Craig says, good day. Uh, Anthony says, why would? Uh-oh. Let's see what he means. Why would? Yeah, that's why I didn't get them. Instead, I ended up, uh, <clears throat> I'll show you guys, because they're on my desk. I ended up getting a copy of Ghostwire Tokyo, 
Uh, and one game I'm really enjoying that a lot of people did not like for some reason. Uh, Callisto Protocol, uh, from the creators of Dead Space. Like, yeah, it's not Dead Space, but it's still a fantastic game. We got Anthony, and, and we got Rob back in. Uh, Anthony says, why would you sell the bottle cats? I mean, they're kind of, com- they're starting to become a little bit common for us here on the page. Uh, some people might need some money, Anthony. You never know. We got room for one more, guys. Uh, funny thing about Ghostwire was, uh, that game did not come out not too long ago. And, uh, I found a price tag of it. Brand new copy for 25 bucks. Turns out that was our Black Friday price. The game was supposed to be 60 but since uh, <clears throat> I found it for twenty five bucks, a girl there, uh, she was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna just sell it to you for twenty five because you saw it that price and that's not fair to you." And I was like, "Cool," because that was our last copy, anyways. Uh, also, uh, Dead Space co- officially releases tomorrow as well. The remake, uh, which I didn't realize uh, that it was this week that it came out, comes out. So, definitely, definitely, definitely. Uh, looking forward to that. Uh, I might have to wait on that game, but I feel like that'd be a really, really fun one to play. Because I love the first Dead Space, and I'm a little bitch sometimes when it comes to horror games. Anthony says, I think the guy outside the, uh, uh, Glacido Gym has a better use for them, I think, or somewhere near the two tabs on the map. Yeah, yeah, uh, so if you take it to him, that's how you go and hyper-train your Pokemon. Uh, Anthony, you are correct. Alright, everybody has the shiny here but me, of course. Uh, and we have officially been live for half an hour, everybody. Oh, goodness. But yeah, just got a couple of games to be able to play off stream. Something I really, really needed. Because like, I do play, um, as I mentioned to you guys, I do play Seven Days to Die with Dakota. But we only get to play for like an hour each night. So like off stream, I wanted something just to kind of, you know... Kind of take the edge off something I can uh, just play on my free time uh, when I get free time. So, started playing Cl- uh, Callisto uh, Protocol, and I like it. It's great to me. A lot of people uh, just did not like it, because uh, I think their expectations were super high with it being, like, from the creators of Dead Space. But so far, I like it. It's not that bad. Definitely better than Dead Sp- what Dead Space 3 was. I will say that. Dead Space 3 was garbage. Aw, oh, you got rid of my ability. Rob says, I can't attack, hello. How do you guys attack so fast? Ah, well, this was Byron's old uh, Iron Hand, so he already had it raid ready. Oh, and I'm asleep. Damn it. <clears throat> Good God. Nigel says, shiny D where he doesn't have a shiny because he gives us the rest of shinies. I mean, you're not wrong. Plus, my shiny Iron Hands is over on Violet, which I actually might make that one as a raid ready Pokemon. I just have to uh, do the picnic thing. With, uh, to be able to, uh, to be able to have it, so, uh, be able to have it so he has belly drum. Uh, Peyton says, I'm so pumped for the Dead Space roommate. Dude, you and me both. You and me both, Peyton. Uh, I'm trying to see, don't hold me to this, I'm trying to see if we can get a copy of it today, uh, which is a possibility. I, I know it officially is tomorrow, but I might be able to get a copy today, and if so... I might play some of it for you guys. Like, if we can get a copy of it today, I feel like that'd be a lot, a lot of fun to play here on the channel. Chris will still do Pokemon, obviously, but at the same time, like, Dead Space just sounds super, super fun right now. Something a little different. Plus, like I said, I love horror games, but at the same time, I'm a big wussy crybaby bitch. Alright. I'm still asleep, so I really can't do much. Hey, what the oh yeah. So if we get it if we get a copy of it today, I will indeed do a part two of today's session and play the game. You know, that's for fun with it. Because why the fuck not? I can't tell you guys how I'm getting a copy a day early, but still. If so, 
If I can get that game today, that'd be fantastic. Paid sense. Yes, dude. Like I said, I love horror games. Super, super fun. Uh, to do. Like, I would do Callisto Protocol, but I'm already so far into it. I just, like, I don't want to restart. <laughs> I really, really don't. Because, like I said, you guys know I want to do, um... Ooh, he's dead. <laughs> Yay, we did it. Anthony says, I keep healing up to wake us uh, Hey, dude, that actually... You, Anthony, you right there saved the raid. GG's, bro. GG's. Uh, don't ever miss it, but we did get an ability capsule. Not too bad. Oh, goodness. I need to also go uh, one day and pre-order uh, Tears of the Kingdom, because that is a game we are definitely going to play here on the channel. Like, I'm definitely looking forward to playing that with you guys. Alright, uh... I, th I don't honestly remember if we checked this bug one or not. So let's go do that. But either way, GG's, guys. GG's. There we go. Max Ether. All right. Uh, Peyton, uh, Curiosity, did you go and pre-order for one of the special editions? And what console are you going to play it on, my man? Because you know me. I've got the newest gen game, uh, consoles besides Xbox, so... I would po probably be playing it on PlayStation 5. Apparently, too, um, I was talking to Code about this because he was even saying, like, he heard bad things about Kaleido Protocol. Apparently, it's really, really bad on PC. Like, the PC port was just terrible, apparently. Really, really buggy and glitchy, but I'm playing mine on PS5, so I'm not having any of the issues other people have been uh, stating for it. Which, I haven't tried Ghost Park Tokyo yet, but that'll be a little bit before I even get uh, a chance to try it, just due to the fact that, uh, uh, just due to the fact that I have to at least beat one game before I move on to the next one. Uh, Peyton says, they have special edition, uh, but my PS5, uh, PS5, my man. I'm pretty sure they have a special edition, a couple of special editions for it. Um, I don't really remember. We got Dylan with the like. What's up, Dylan? How have you been, my man? Yeah, because, like, uh, a lot of games, you know, a lot of games now they have. Uh, one game I really wanted to get yesterday, however, there are no copies anywhere right now, was Final Fantasy uh, Crisis Core Remake. Uh, I didn't even know that game was out. <laughs> and uh, I'm a huge, huge, huge RPG fan. I wanted to definitely grab it, but... No copies anywhere. Dylan says, hey, how's it going, everyone? Going good, man. How about yourself? How are you doing today, Dylan? Uh, Peyton says, is it worth... Is it worth to get, question mark? Uh, well, it depends. I, for me, if... Okay, I was making sure that wasn't shiny. Um, when it comes to certain games, like, I will go buy a collector's edition of it. Especially if it's in a franchise I absolutely love. Like, for example, Kingdom Hearts, Final Fantasy, Halo, Pokemon. I will go buy, you know, a special edition of that because I'm a fan of the series. So why not? If it's a game I'm kind of iffy about, I typically will wait for a review of it uh, to see what other people, like, how the game runs, if it's actually worth the money. Because, like, if I'm going to spend my money on myself, I'm going to make sure that, uh, that it is definitely worth the money. You know what I mean? Okay, so we already did the check those two, so let's go check this one. Uh, Rob says, this level 75 a slug has 334 defense a little Avalog. Ooh, that's actually pretty good for him. I don't remember what his base stats were, but that is not bad, not bad at all. And he says, Kingdom Hearts is my fucking shit. Dude, when Kingdom Hearts 3 was announced, uh, as soon as pre-orders were available, I went and pre-ordered the Deluxe Edition. And I like the way Square Enix does theirs. Uh, you get an art book. You get some codes, of course. Like, you always get codes if you pre-order. Um, 
but you also got a steelbook case alongside a re the regular case because I like steelbooks; they're pretty cool. But at the same time, I like having the original or uh, the original uh, game case with it as well. Uh, Anthony says Oblivion Keyblade is one of my favorite style of Keyblade. One of my fa ooh, this is exclusive too. Um, one of my favorites would have to probably be the one from Halloween Town, but I also really did like the Oblivion Blade. I had to think about it. I was trying to try picture what it looked like in my head. I remember it, but that is a good one as well. All right. So let's go ahead and get this raid up and ready to go. All right. Oh, uh, let me go ahead and grab myself a Coke. And I also got stock back up on Cokes, everybody. All right. Also, uh, Anthony, I'm not sure if you heard this. We are getting another Kingdom Hearts game, which uh, I definitely, definitely like the art style. It's a little bit different from what we've seen for the trailer. But the art style looks pretty damn interesting. We got Anthony back in. Uh, just have, yes, 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 that one. Like, like I said, it's been a while since I played Kingdom Hearts with them. It has been a while since I played Kingdom Hearts, but yeah, that one. All right. Uh, Kingdom. Uh, Anthony says what? Yeah, wait, did you really not know this, Anthony? Yeah, go on YouTube. There's actually a trailer for uh the announcement of Kingdom Hearts Four. It has a new art style, and according to uh, the game's directors, they are going to add more Final Fantasy elements to it, because they didn't really do that for Kingdom Hearts 3, so they're making up for it with the Kingdom Hearts 4. We also got Danielle back in. Welcome back, Danielle. And this says, no, I did it. Well, luckily for you, Anthony, I'm usually caught up on what all big games are going to come out, my man. And we got room for one more chat. <laughs> Anthony says, what kind of Kingdom Hearts am I? <laughs> but no, dude, like, definitely check it out. Like, I think it'll uh, just tickle your balls, Anthony. It'll be, it's gonna be fan, am I? <laughs> you're, you're a good fan, you just didn't know, man. Not a lot of people know that. I mean, you're good. If you guys hear barking, my dog uh, is going crazy because my mother's friend is uh, over. So they're going out while I do my thing. Hey, what's up, Roger? How are you doing today, bro? And we got Nigel in as well. So sweet. We got a full team chat. And we got Roger with the like. Much love to you, Roger. But yeah, they do have a new Kingdom Hearts game coming out. Uh, looking forward to it. Uh, don't know when the release date is. We're probably a couple of years out from it. But yeah, they did. Uh, they did do like a cinematic trailer thing for it. Some people uh, aren't too big on the arts. Uh, Anthony says, fuck it, select the raw poke. Ah, it's all good, Anthony. Win or lose, as long as we have fun, my man. But yeah, new Kingdom Hearts game. Uh, there's a lot of games coming out this year that I'm really, really interested in. Um, obviously, Dead Space Remake, Resident Evil 4 Remake. I don't know if Silent Hill 2 Remake is coming out this year or not, but I'm looking forward to that. Uh... Hogwarts, I am nervous about, but I think it's going to be great. Um, goodness, what else? Um, Tears of the Kingdom, obviously. Starfield. And, they, like I said, there's just so many games coming out this year. Simon says, when does Greninja start? Apparently it starts tonight. I was just informed that it starts tonight at 6 o'clock uh, my time, which is Central. So six for me would be midnight for you, Simon, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh. Roger says Starfield. Yes, please, dude. Looking forward to it. I know um, Bethesda and uh, Microsoft, they are start going to start doing, oh, excuse me, some direct-like things. Um... They're doing some direct light things, so we might actually get a little bit more information of Starfield, but if I remember correctly, Roger, it is supposed to come out this year. I'm not sure the date, but I'm pretty sure this year. Sam says, sucks trying to trade with Randy, but yeah, it does. I agree, Sam. And I do do agree, but don't forget, we do have people here in the community and in the Discord 
that will definitely be uh, willing to help. Simon says, oh, okay, I will be away. I will not be doing mine until tomorrow for stream and everything like that. But however, if I do get a copy of Dead Space in the next couple of hours, guys, uh, we will probably do that as a stream today. Because why not? Sounds like a lot of fun. And plus, I haven't plugged the PS5 into the capture card yet. So that will be interesting to see. Sun says, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh oh. <laughs> we might lose this one. But if we do, that's okay. We'll just get it back up. But yeah, we'll be doing our Grenadier stuff tomorrow. Plus, uh, since it start comes out tonight, we will officially have more information on it uh, for the morning. And everything like that. See if, like, uh, I was correct on my assumptions. And if the community was correct and everything like that. Simon says, has Byron done those Pokemon? Uh... I don't know. I haven't heard from him in a couple of days. Uh, he's probably working today, Simon. Uh, so, I don't know. Usually he is, I know for a fact, usually he is off Sundays and Tuesdays. Because uh, he's usually here the entire, entire stream. But as soon as he gets in here, if he gets in here today, Simon, I will ask him. So that way you can know, my man. All right, so we lost that one, but that's okay, because we are going to get it back up. Uh, the reason I'm not using my literal as marrow is just due to the fact that... Actually, uh, yeah, I'll use iron hands again. It's just due to the fact that he has poison moves, and poison is super effective against fairy. So that's why we're not using him. So we're gonna, I'm going to keep using iron hands for a little bit. But yeah, this year is, the way I'm looking at it, this year is the year of remakes, uh, without a doubt, for some damn good horror remakes, by the way. Dylan says, what people, uh, what Pokemon are people using for Greninja? Um, I'm gonna be using both Gastrodon and Clodsire, uh, Dylan, for him. Um, Gastrodon is one that I have personally recommended to everybody, and then the community here, we got Daniel back in, welcome back, Daniel. And the community... As a whole, has been saying Pokemon like Clodsire as well as Vaporeon. Some people were also saying uh, Quagsire. However, I personally uh, nipped him out and suggested um, uh, Gastrodon over Quagsire. Just due to the fact he has a much better move pool and stats compared to Quagsire. Quagsire is good, don't get me wrong. It's just... Gastrodon's a little bit better. We also have Anthony back in, as well as Nigel back in. Welcome back, guys. Oh, goodness. Yeah, that's just my personal bit. That's just my personal thing, though. Like, that's what I'll be using, is Cloudsire and Gastrodon, which I'll, sh I'll show again in a minute, um, Dylan, because uh, Byron here made me both Claude Sire and Gastrodon for it. Uh, both are raid ready for this event. And I'll show you why uh, Gastrodon with his hidden ability. Could, why that is going to be very, very helpful. Alright, so as soon as Anthony and Nigel ready up, we will be good to start this raid, everybody. Alright, Anthony's going to be using his moth. Alright, sweet. Let's do this. And Nigel will be using his Goldingo. Nigel says, if I get Gastron on electricity leveled, if not this Goldingo. See, uh, see, I forgot that, um, I forgot about Toxicity as well. I honestly forgot about him. I haven't heard anybody mention him for this raid, so he might be, uh, good as well, Nigel. You might surprise me with him. Like I said, if you guys have better recommendations out there for these raid Pokemon for, uh, Tonight, technically, well, tomorrow for us, then, uh, yeah, let us know, because you guys have made some damn good suggestions before, and uh, I value your guys' opinions, without a doubt. Alright, so we're going to belly drum. And go from there. So he's going to poison. 
See, that's another move he could possibly have. No, wait, Greninja can't learn Toxic, I don't think. No, no, he can learn Gunshot, not Toxic. Ooh, his special attack went down hard. Alright, Drain Punch. Uh, Peyton says, speaking of Toxicity, I got a Shiny today. Hey, nice, bro. That's a good one. I don't think I have him Shiny. But he is a really, really cool Pokemon to me last gen. I was really happy when they finally brought Gi Gigantamax versions of him in the game. Uh, last generation. I, I went for them like crazy. Like, because... Uh, they made it so, like, he was in the game, but he wasn't there. Apparently, there were two more that they just never released. Uh, but I don't know if this is true or not, but apparently Data Miners went in, and they said that there was a Espeon and Umbreon Gigantamax that just never got released last generation, according to the, um, according to the uh, Data Mining. But we, uh, that, I don't know if it's correct or not, but according to that data mining too, we also got confirmation for Melmetal, um, uh, as well as Toxtricity. So that might be a possibility that they did have them planned at one point, they just didn't do them for whatever reason. Don't kill me. Okay, no, we're good. That poison might kill me though, I'm not gonna lie. And hey, he's poison, and his shield is broken. So yeah, I think we got this one. Oh, one more hit. Are you kidding me? Alright, there we go. Energy has been drained, so one more hit. Alright, so he's dead. He is dead. We're just waiting for the game to recognize it. There we go. GG's, everybody. Alright, so I'm not going to catch him, and he's going to disappear, and he's going to give us some herbs. I called it. I don't know how I called it, but he did give us one piece of sour herbabistica. I think I'm a witch doctor, chat. Because my predictions are starting to slowly come true over time. Oh, goodness. All right. Uh, so we checked out those. We haven't checked out this fairy one yet. I believe it was <laughs> Nigel here's trying to go for it. Uh, the balloon shiny, if I remember correctly. And of course, we get an outbreak of him. Uh, Anthony says finally, and he also Anthony also says me too. Damn, you both got him at the same time. GGS. Uh, I did not play this game yesterday. I, I took a full break from it. Instead, played something different, and it was, it was a lot of refreshment. Like I said, I needed something a little bit different. Cause don't get me wrong, I love Pokemon. You guys know this, but as a gamer too, I like playing different things. <laughs> so it says like the Witch Doctor. <laughs> Nigel says, still try for it. I figured you were still trying for it, man, because you haven't mentioned that you got his shiny yet. But I believe in you, Nigel, 100%, my man. That you can, in fact, get him. <laughs> Blake, the witch doctor. Ah, <laughs> uh, three star. Alright, uh... We haven't gone to... I'm getting my controls confused with my PlayStation right now. Uh, there we go. You're not a real gamer if you don't know, if you can't, uh, if you don't get confused where the X button is. Hey, hey, hey y'all, y'all. All right. <laughs> yeah, because, like, literally, I have, I use all different types of controllers. Do you think I'd get more confused than normal, but I'm just so used to it at this point. All right. Oh, and also, um, I mentioned this earlier, uh, for anybody that's coming in, we are going to be doing a find that Pokemon hatch, uh, thing for, uh, we don't really have a name for it yet, but if you hatch a certain Pokemon, which I will mention on Shiny Sunday, you hatch it, you get a big, big bonus prize as well. Quillfish, we don't need you. 
I keep I keep pressing B instead of A right now. That is my fault. But yeah. It's gonna be a lot of fun because uh Peyton here won the last one, which we did uh whoever hatched Eevee got all the Eevee Lucians. And we don't wanna do that every single time. We wanna kinda of, you know, just spice it up for you guys. But also, we will have uh, Shiny Froakie officially for Shiny Sunday to be able to uh, give out to you guys some eggs. Hey, what's up, Ray? How are you doing, man? Uh, so we checked out those. So we'll go check out this one first. Hey, Anthony says Shiny Shinx just popped in. That happened to me too, uh, Anthony, uh, while I was looking for raids one day. Him and Gagot just happened to uh, spawn in for us, which was actually pretty damn funny because I was not even shiny on Tech at that time. Alright. Uh, I know another Pokemon that'd be really fun to shiny hunt, but my god, would it be hard, would be um, Zorark. I think that would be a really cool Pokemon to have for uh, the shiny collection because I don't have his original shiny. Uh, the problem is, like, the way he would spawn in. Like, that would be insanely difficult, I must say. So let's see. There we go. Gothic girl. Let's get it done, guys. Wednesday Adams. Oh, goodness. Uh, Roger says, could you save me one of, the, uh, them shiny froaky yellow? See, they're gonna be an egg, so I'm not even gonna know where they're at, or where they are at, but we will definitely, definitely have some to give out to you guys, and I will also be shiny hunting for him using the Masuda method for my own personal collection this shiny Sunday. So, that's gonna be a lot of fun. I look forward to it. Uh, Peyton says, that's... Gonna be my next uh shiny hunt, actually. I remember you mentioned that. We got Bearded Vet in. Welcome, Bearded Vet. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I would really love to have Shiny Greninja. We got Anthony back in. Welcome back, Anthony. And we got room for one more, everybody. Uh, but Peyton, you gotta get your shiny cat before you can do uh, our little frog boy. Not so no, 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 I know who you meant. I know who you meant. You were talking about Froki, my man. I know. And we also got Nigel back in as well. Sweet. We got a full team chat. No, Zoror. Oh, wait, are you saying... Okay, now I'm kind of confused. Are you going for Zoror, or are you going for Froki next, Peyton? I'm confused now. Peyton used confusion. It's super effective. Oh. Alright. Bearded Vet's going to be using Lucario. Anthony's going to be using Rhydon. And Nigel is going to be using his gold Dinko. Sweet. Let's get this one done. I wish those dogs would stop barking. Both the dogs in the game and the dogs in real life. Uh, and we are about to hit the one hour mark. So... It's only a three-hour session today, guys, but if I do happen to get Dead Space today, keep an eye out because we will go live later as well because I think that'd be a lot of fun to play that with you guys. Uh, Payne says, no, Elo, I'm saying Zoror is going to be my next shiny hunt, uh, like, sandwich-wise, not including the egg. Sorry for the super effective confusion. No, you're good, bro. You are good. I, I thought you were talking about Froki. Right there, so that's also my bad, but you're good, Peyton. You're good, man. Oh, shit, this bitch has electric moves. I forgot about that. Damn it. Oh, I forgot. She has electric type moves. And she got rid of my belly. This bitch. Oh, uh, I forgot. So that is my bad, chat. Sam says, man, doesn't seem to have been an hour already. Hey, it has, man. We have officially just hit the one hour mark. It takes a minute for, you know, my chat bot to uh, pop it up on the screen. But yeah, it's been an hour. Uh, Definitely, I, I agree, Sam. It doesn't feel like an hour. It feels like it's been shorter. 
Maybe because we didn't stream yesterday. Don't really know. Uh, but what we'll do raids until probably about an hour 45 to two hours in, then switch over to a little bit of shiny hunting. Last shiny hunt, we got two Sandy Gas, in which one of them I evolved. And plus, uh, and plus, I want to, uh, kind of show you guys that I do have future boxes for shinies. I went ahead, I might be a little bit ambitious, but we are on our third box already. So what I decided to do was go ahead and make, uh, five or six shiny boxes, if I'm not mistaken. So, that, because we have been getting stupid lucky with our shiny hunts lately. So who knows? Maybe, just maybe, we will be able to do uh, some more to the point of where we get that many shinies. That'd be incredible. Uh, my boy's been murdered. Alright, see if I can get my player up back up. We might lose this one, I'm not too sure. Only because I forgot this Pokemon has electric moves, so that is on me. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna go ahead and see. I went ahead and grabbed some, because I knew I'd need it later. Uh, some ibuprofen. Payton says I'm almost at five boxes full for shiny. Damn, dude. Oh man. I know you've been, uh, that doesn't really surprise me all that much, though, Payton, because you've been winning here a lot uh, for our Shiny Sunday events, and plus you shiny hunt like crazy like me, my man. You are just as good, if not better, honestly, than me at shiny hunting. Maybe your shield broke? I'm not too sure yet. Yeah, so as you guys can see, there it takes... Two minutes. It would take about two and a half minutes uh, after uh, our hour comes up. But yes, we have been live for an hour, everybody. Oh, no. We might have lost. Yeah, I think we lost. Oh, no. We'll get it back up. I'll just switch Pokemon because, like I said, I did not know. I forgot that she has electric moves, so that is my bad. Payton says, I'm addicted to the shiny hunts, man. Hey, dude, I don't blame you. I, I know what you meant. He put hints, but he meant hunts. I, I know what you meant. You are good, Payton. I don't blame you. Shiny hunting is a lot of fun. It can be frustrating, especially if you're looking for one specific one, and you just straight up don't get him. It's like, are you kidding me right now? All right. All right, so I'll get this one back up. Because that was my bad. <laughs> but yeah, see, like, for example, like, I have all my raid uh, Pokemon here, ready to go. Down below the very, very bad, uh, last column, these guys. This is my team for Sir Chester's Discord. And maybe it was only four boxes. No, it was six. It was six. All right, so let's go ahead and select our Iron Hands, challenge as a group, and get it up and ready to go. Payne says, oh, I've had my share of moments where it's drove me crazy. Dude, I don't blame... Like, you saw... You've been seeing me shining up, man. You've seen me shining up when it came to, like, uh, Sandy Shocks and Roar Moon. I was losing my fucking mind right there, thinking, like, they are never going to pop up. This is going to take months. And months of uh, shiny hunting, but no, we finally on. We got Anthony back in. Welcome back, Anthony. Uh, we got Nigel back in. Welcome back, Nigel. And we got room for one more chat. See, apparently I missed something. Oh, I see Beard of Vets um ETB for evolution. That is super nice, Beard of Vet. That is awesome. And we got Beard of Vet back in as well. I just happened to look at the Discord and saw that uh 
he posted in our TCG ses- section of it. It looks super, super nice. And it's the Blastoise one. Uh, like I said, I would love to have both of them one day for my personal sealed collection. Uh, the reason I'm keeping, like, Evolution sealed, one thing, they're stupid, stupid expensive now. And second, uh, I'm pretty much done with the entire uh, set. I'm missing maybe 15 cards. Not even 15. No, it's less than that. Uh, f- to have a complete set of evolutions. Uh, which, like, at this point, it's just pretty much the full some of the full arts. That's what I'm practically missing. I have all the secret rares. I have all the basic hollows. I'm at, I had a, a couple of break cards. I remember that. I'm missing a couple of break. There we go. Uh, NZ says we fucked up season psych attack. Ah, we got this, bro. We got this. I believe in us. They must be super effective against Klefki. Ah, well, Klefki is steel and... (laughs) Steel and Fairy, which Fairy is super effective against uh, Dragon, and I have Ice Punch that is super effective. You bitch. I have an I I have uh, my Ice Punch, which is super effective against Dragon. It's just ah uh, yeah, she's being a little bit of a pain. I'm kind of hoping we freeze her. All right, so she has her thing. All right, she has her shield up. Uh, I'm almost dead, but that would be our first in-game death. But I'm going to go ahead and throw down a heal for us. Alright, so we're in defense, special defense rose. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Whoever healed right there. I don't have my belly drum effect right now, but yeah, electricity is not going to do anything to us, really. There we go, she's frozen. There we go. That's what we wanted to see. So we have a belly drum. Uh-oh. I think she got rid of her negative effect right as we did that. Ooh. Yeah, the game's being a little bit light. Okay, so I can't use my belly drum now because I'm in red. But I'm going to go ahead and heal us up. Oh, goodness. My allergies today, chat. I apologize. I'm stuck in the fucking heal menu now. Awesome. Oh! I really hope this next update fixes that, because that is stupid annoying to get stuck in. I can't can't do anything right now, chat. (laughs) Yes, I know, Iron Hands. You want to do something, but we can't. Oh, goodness. This is pain. I can't do anything. Uh, Alright, I'm not taking that. Good luck, guys. You got this. I can't do anything. Would she either kill me or it let me do something at this point? I didn't even use Bella. Okay, there we go. Good God. I got off of that, finally. Oh my gosh. Payne says, what a troll. Dude, I hate that. I hate that so much that we get stuck. Because, like, it's happened to... I'm pretty sure it has happened to everybody here at this point. That we've gotten just straight up stuck. Super, super annoying. Alright. Try Belly Drum again, and then Ice Punch, but I don't think we're going to have enough time for this one, unfortunately. And I've not gotten stuck. We've been okay. And this has happened to me our last break. Yeah, dude, it, it happens and it sucks. Because, like, your Pokemon is just sitting there diddling his own damn thumbs. And nothing can be done about it, unfortunately. You 
bitch. I hate this Pokemon. Damn it. Alright, we'll try her one more time. Uh, yeah, because her psychic moves are super effective against fighting, and she also has electric moves, which is super effective against water, and I don't think I have anything that could honestly kind of counteract that. Because if I use Slowbro, in fact, because Slowbro is water and psychic, psychic won't be effective, but, uh... Fuck me if uh, the other one won't. And Charizard wouldn't be good too because of electric. God damn it. Uh, Alright, I'm looking. Uh, you want to be good either because you want to hit hard. Maridon. I don't have Maridon for this one, unfortunately. Uh, Peyton says, when's the next big update supposed to happen? Uh, February. Middle of February. Uh. Eh, screw it. I'll use Gastrodon. He's my raid, he's my raid ready Pokemon, so why not? Yeah, he's raid ready for, like, uh, different Pokemon, but it gives me a chance to try him out. Too, because I haven't tried him out yet, or Claude Sire. But yeah, I don't have my ride on this game, uh. Anthony, I have him on Violet. I have Karide on, but I have honestly not used him or gotten him ready for any sort of battle. I don't really use Legendary Pokemon all that much. Legendary Mythical, I don't typically use. I The only time I used him was last generation during competitive. That was the only time I used them. When they started to allow certain ones to come in. That's why I used them. We got Anthony back in. Welcome back, Anthony. Oh, goodness. Because electric won't be as effective on me because I also have the ground one, so it'll be a normal hit as opposed to a uh, regular one. Sam says, I wish I had a Zard on here. Uh, Sam, I might have an extra Charmander I could give you. Uh, it won't be shiny, but if you want one, I'll check after this, and uh, if so, I will give you one, my man. Like I said, we'll try her one more time, and if you want... Uh, Charmander, a regular Charmander, uh, Sam. I'll see what I got, because I don't know what I have anymore, because I deleted so many Pokemon. Alright, we got Nigel back in. Welcome back, Nigel. And we got room for one more. Simon says, I have a spare. Oh, thank you, Simon. Yeah, if I don't have one, Simon will give you one. And Sam says, thanks, man. Hey, you're welcome, dude. You are absolutely welcome. Like I said, if I don't have one, uh, Simon here will uh, get one for you, most likely. All right. So, once it's 45 second timer, I will ready up and we will go from there, everybody. Alright, so 45 seconds, so I am ready up. So, let's go ahead and start this raid. Alright. Oh my god, I wonder what Pokemon it is. Ah. Hey, we all got shinies. Uh, Shining Warrior Moon looks so cool. Taurus with his Intimidate. <clears throat> Alright, so Booster Energy was up. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, we'll use this one. Why not? Not gonna do as much damage as we our last one, but this Pokemon will have probably a little bit of a better chance. It's also gonna lower. Oh, no, it has a chance to lower. Chance to lower. That's right. So 
tell you what I'll do. I'll use Amnesia a couple of times to lower the special defense and then hit with Earth Power. And plus, I have my leftovers on Gastrodon as well, because yes, Shell Bell is better, but if you're not doing attack and you're setting up, then it is definitely better to have, like, uh, leftovers. Okay, so Amnesia. Okay, I thought she already had her shield up, but alright. Well, my guess right is a little... Ooh, that is a crit hit. Alright, defense froze sharply. And then we get that. Which we definitely needed that just due to the fact that... Um, due to the fact that she is using special moves. Like that. And she just crit us, so... <clears throat> Plus, we're getting health back each turn. And I have recover, too. As a move, so that'd be really helpful. Whoever healed, thank you very much for that. Uh, and I'm stuck again. There we go. I don't remember what the terror... I usually don't terrorize my Pokemon, but I want to see what this one is. I want to say it's ground. Okay, yeah. It's ground. Awesome. <clears throat> There we go. Now it just says I'm froze. Oh, of course. It's all good, man. It's all good. Alright, so we got our full health back. We still have not lowered her special yet. Really wish we would lower special defense right now with uh, Earth Power. Uh, like I say, it is a chance to do it, so it takes a while. Oh, whoa! What happened to our, whoa? What happened to our time? Yeah, no. Nah. We're not gonna get this one, but that's alright. We'll go find a new one. We got Richard with the like. What's up, Richard? How are you doing today, dude? Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. It's all good. Yep. Yeah, release, released energy. That's alright, though. Plus, Nigel was fr frozen right there. So, we had one man down, unfortunately. But, alright. Uh, I'm gonna check to see if I have Charmander for Sam. And then, we're gonna find it different one to get up because this one's getting a little annoying unfortunately uh, but that's why I've always done it we tried a few times if we don't beat it then we just go find something else all right so let me check my boxes really quick for Sam go to search oh wait he won't be I don't think he'll be in no okay so I just gotta kind of look for him uh, it's Danielle stuff. No in that box. No in that box. Those are trade Pokemon for Shiny Sunday. Uh, I might not have one. Uh, Sam, so uh, Simon might have to give you one. Because I don't believe I have one besides my shiny. Yeah, 
him. Yeah, I don't have one, Sam, uh, right now, so Simon, if you don't mind, um, <clears throat> if you could give Sam here one, that would be fantastic, my guy. Alright, let me go check over this one. Because like I said, I deleted a lot of Pokemon. I knew I had Charmanders uh, for a while, but I had to get rid of quite a bit. Uh, Payton says, I got extra regular and an extra shiny Pokemon. Both perfect IV. Ooh, nice, bro. And Simon has a code up for you, Sam, for uh, your Pokemon. Yeah, like I said, I had to delete a lot of Pokemon because I was legitimately running out of room for Pokemon, unfortunately. Kayla with the like. What's up, Kayla? How are you doing today, dude? And Kayla says hello. What's up, Kayla? Thank you for the like. All right, so let's go up here. Uh, uh, do, do. There we go. I'll check my phone in a minute, too, for reactions that I personally can't see from you guys either in just a moment. As soon as we get another five-star. Three-star. Uh, let's see. Let's go through this one. Kayla with the share as well. Much love to you, Kayla. It's highly appreciated. Hope you're having a good day today, dude. All right, let's go up here and just kind of go from there, Chip. All right, so first of all, let's grab that avalanche. Obviously, we've already had it before, otherwise, we would have had the uh, little message pop up like, Oh, you can make a new one. Yeah. Dutch says, Do you not have 32 bucks? No, I do. That was the problem. Um, <clears throat> Like, even with 32 boxes, uh, Nigel, I was just out of room. Everything, the only things that were organized were, uh, my shiny Pokemon. Like, I had my raid Pokemon kind of scattered in certain boxes, and this and that. And I was like, yeah, no. I need to organize it and go from there. Uh, Pat says, hi, I'm back. My phone died. What did I miss? Welcome back, Pat. And you are good, man. Uh, just doing some raids, dude. We're just doing some raids. For a little while. Uh, we need to go to that one first, if I'm not mistaken. Simon says, perfect guy. V's. Ooh, nice. And Simon says, thanks, Sam. Hey, uh, Simon, appreciate you doing that, my man. I appreciate you doing that. Because like I said, I ran out uh, <clears throat> of regular charm. I did have a bunch, but I had to delete a bunch of Pokemon. Just due to the fact that I had no room whatsoever. It was getting to the point of where, like, literally the boxes were almost full. So I was like, yeah, no. I had maybe, like, two or three open boxes left from all of our uh, egg hatching and shiny hunting and this and that. I was like, yeah, I gotta make some room. <laughs> uh, there we go. Uh, he is normally dark and fairy. Uh, so Iron Hands won't be good for that one. However, my slow bro just might do the trick. So he has, no way, no, no, he won't, because if he's those two as normal, uh, that just seems bad. Why not? <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and get the code up and go from there. Sam says, thanks, Simon. Hey, thank you for thanking him, Sam. And uh, Simon also asked, uh, anything else, Sam? Yeah, is there anything else that uh, you uh, currently want from um, that were like, you know, raid ones that were just a, the timed ones as well? All right, so there we go. Code is up, chat. Let's get this raid good done and over with it we've almost been live for an hour and a half everybody oh my back oh this ibuprofen kicks in soon because this chair sucks for my back and my neck guys ah <clears throat> um Pat says, I want to tell that before my phone died that my Gudra role in the team was to be kill uh kill a watch roll best buddy. Hey, that'd be that'd be awesome, man. 
Uh, I'm glad you finally got him shiny, Pat, because I remember you, uh, last time you were talking about you were looking for him. And Gudra's a really, really cool Pokemon. Um, when Pokemon Home comes, I have, I believe I've already evolved him, but I got a Gumi on that one that I evolved into Gudra. And it's also his Suian form, so looking forward to the Hisuian form Pokemon coming out, without a doubt. It's going to be a lot, a lot of fun to see those guys then, because uh, not only will we have Gudra, but we'll also have Arcanine, Lilligant, uh, trying to think who a Quillfish. I'm not sure if Overquill will be in the game, though, um, for it. We might possibly get uh, Weird Deer as well as Ursa Luna for the game, which I have both of them shiny as well. Uh, Bravery. Uh, that one's obvious because he's a Suian form. I'm not sure what else because um, I'm trying to think of all the Suian Pokemon for the game. Alright, we didn't get anybody in for this one, so I'm going to back out of it real quick. And then get it back up. And if we don't get anybody to join this one, then I will officially start shiny hunting. If the game will... Yep, there we go. Alright, so let's get this one back up and ready to go, chat. Oh, while we're doing that, I'm going to check my phone for any sort of reactions that I may have indeed missed. So let me get it back up. Unfortunately, it takes a minute for it to come back up on my phone uh, due to the way they got stuff out. But today I did see notifications did finally go out today. Thank God for that. Yes, I did. We have Bearded Vet with the heart and Christian with the heart as well. Much, much love to you guys. I did miss those two things. All right. <clears throat> so like I said, if I don't get anybody, then... Uh, oh, never mind. We got we got Bearded Vet back in. Welcome back, Bearded Vet. Uh, we will be starting our shiny hunting soon. Ooh, he's going to be using Cliff Key. That's interesting. I don't remember what he looks like shiny, without a doubt. That's one Pokemon I have to look up. Uh, Pat says, that means Gudra would set up rain and then either terrorize to water type and hit surf or switch out and hurricane spam with killer watch. Hey, that is not a bad combo at all to do for double battles. At all. Uh, gotta think of it. We only had one double battle in this uh, game, which was uh, Rai, the ghost gym leader, which I really liked Rai. She was actually kind of cool. Rhyme, not Rai. Rhyme, my bad. Wrong name. Oops. But either way, she was a cool gym leader, without a doubt. I was not disappointed in any of the gym leaders, honestly. For this gym. They were all kind of unique, uh, kind of relatable, without a doubt. And uh, just fun. They had good teams. I will say, though, La Mop Bucket, as I call her, the top champion, she wasn't shit. She was not that great. Like I don't, I honestly had a harder time with the um, psychic gym than I did her. Like psychic gym took me a minute. Not gonna lie, it took me a couple tries in both Scarlet as well as Violet. All right, so we hit our forty-five second mark. So let's do this beat a bit. Uh, Sam says right now I am good, still working on getting the shiny charm. Hey, you got this, Sam. You got this, bro. And if not, you know for a fact people here in the community are more than willing to help out, uh, as well as in our Discord as well. Alright, so let's do Grim Snarl. Grim Snarl was a fan favorite last gen. Which I think Grim Snarl was, I thought he was okay. I eventually got him shiny in there, but I was just like, eh. Uh, Pat says, I didn't shiny hunt before ending the game. I had a normal uh, playthrough team. I beat Rhyme with Silver Ridge and uh, Masquerade Starter I picked. 
Uh, yeah, I didn't shiny hunt either. Um, until I was done, until I got the shiny charm, I did end up getting a couple of shinies while trying to get the uh, decks complete. Uh, which I thought was kind of funny. I did it literally. Uh, I did it literally. Uh, uh, God, twice for the shiny charm. And when it came down to like uh, some Pokemon that I was looking for, like uh, for the decks on Scarlet, for example. I just happened to get stupid lucky and get them shiny. Sam says, 382 out of 400. Oh, you are very close, Sam. You are very, very close to it. Simon says, good luck, you could do it. Yes, much, much love to you, Simon. Alright, so yeah. Again, Play Rough is still broken, so maybe that'll be something they fix, too, to show how much actual damage it's doing. <laughs> really, really hoping that is the case. Uh, Daniel says, you got hella good shiny light. Yeah, like, you. here's the thing. I was mentioning this to Danielle yesterday, in fact. I believe it was Dan. Yeah, it was Danielle. On stream, shiny luck is incredible. If I try to shiny hunt off stream, I get nothing. I don't get shit, chat. Like, there is just nothing that pops up for us. And, uh, Danielle, I would say, is the opposite. Like, she tries to shiny hunt on stream. She doesn't get anything, but when she shiny hunts, uh, off stream, she gets a lot of good shiny luck. Just, like I said, my shiny luck has been incredible lately, but that does not mean it will always continue. Uh, and we've officially been live, guys, for an hour and a half. Alright, so, uh, another po- There is one Pokemon that we are going to try to shiny hunt for today. Um, this one was a suggestion by you guys. I believe it was Danielle that suggested it. We're gonna do, first of all, Jeffrey the Giraffe. We're gonna do Jeffrey the Giraffe first. Nigel says, I'm still at 270 out of 400. I've been sleeping after work because of migraine. Hey, dude, take care of yourself before, you know, playing games and everything like that. But still. That is also super impressive, Nigel, especially considering the fact you're trying to get the shiny charm before you meet the king. So my props to you, my man. Like, I would not have patience to do that. I will say right now, I would have to beat the game. I've always had to beat the game before I try to get the shiny charm. Like, there's no way to me. But in this game, it is, in fact, possible. It is, in fact, possible to do that. The only ones that are kind of a pain are the... um box legendary Pokemon. Uh, but other than that, it is 100% possible to do. Which is amazing to me that that is a possibility. Uh, Pat asks, Daniel, do you have Scarlet or Violet as the version you play as the main one? Because I have two spare shiny GPs. She primarily plays uh, Violet. <clears throat> uh, Pat, that's, what, that's her main game. She has both, yes. Uh, but she primarily plays Pokemon Violet. Also, Dreepy, that's a... If I remember right, Dreepy, instead of having red around his little fins, he has yellow, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, we gotta beat him, Beard of Vip. We cannot allow this little bastard to best us. Nacho says, I know my biggest challenge will be the Paradox Pokemon. Yeah, the Paradox Pokemon are gonna be your biggest pain due to the fact you can't get them until late game. <clears throat> um, however, I know for a fact, um, I know for a fact, you know, community members here can indeed help you with that, my man. Can indeed help you with that. Because I remember right, Nigel, you did, because at one point you did ask me for certain, um, for certain ones here on Scarlet. Um, which I was able to give you some that I had, but I don't it did not have any extras. But yeah, that would definitely be a pain. Uh, Paint says I trade you for a shiny Dreepy. I need him where I got Scar. Okay, yeah. So Paint here uses Scarlet, so he can't really hunt for him. Uh, in that one, Nigel says and the other legendary. Well, actually, the four stake legendary Pokemon, Nigel, you can get before you beat the game. You can actually get them right in the beginning as long as you have um, 
indeed ride Pokemon abilities. And GG's for your bet. GG's. Um, <clears throat> Pat says, it gets lighter blue as it's May and red on the side changes to yellow. Okay, sweet. Hey, and we got two Herba Mystica. Hell yes. Finally, we got something. Uh, but yeah, you, uh, the four stake legendary Pokemon, which, uh, eh, to them, <laughs> uh, you can get them before you beat the game. Like I said, if you want to know where their locate, uh, where the locations of them are, Nigel, you have to, uh, do, you have to do the history classes. I'll show you real quick. Uh, you have to do the history classes, but it does, in fact, give you a marker to show where they are, and that marker, once you go to it, uh, you will, it will help you with, uh, that. Nigel says, do I need fly and climb? You at least need the climb ability. The fly one? Poss yeah, you probably need them as well, honestly. Like, you probably need all of them. Alright, so, yeah. That was our last raid, because we're about an hour, almost an hour and 40 in, so we're gonna go ahead and start doing some shiny hunting, everybody. Uh, and like I said, first one we're going to go for is our shiny Jeffrey the Giraffe. So, Jeffrey the Giraffe is psychic, so we just need extra onion. So, we have that. Um, So, let's go to Area Zero, because that's going to be, honestly, our easiest spot to get him. Um, Peyton says, Pat, do you need a shiny Charmander? I got an extra. Would trade for Dreepy if you would like to. Ooh. Uh, and Pat says, I don't need, I have one in home PC. Okay, fair, fair. I like how there's some trades going on. I like how there's some trades going on in chat. All right, so we saved. So that way we can go for Jeffrey the Giraffe. Uh, that's a span spanner in the world? What, what's a spanner? <laughs> I don't know what that is. All right, so yeah, we're going to go for Jeffrey the Giraffe Shiny. Alright, so let's go ahead and make a sandwich. And we're going to make a... Oh, wrong button. We're going to make a Blake original. So we need three normal onion, if I'm reading this correct. Yes, we, I am reading that correctly. Three re regular onions, green pepper, and our burn. We are going to have to go get some more supplies for sandwiches soon. Okay, next. Red flagpole and go from there. Uh, Peyton says, mine is perfect IV as well, haha, <laughs> but if anything in particular you are looking for, like I said, man, I am loving seeing these, uh, trades going on in chat. Boop. 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 We're gonna have some real bad morning breath with these onions, but that's okay, because we are gonna hopefully get our shiny Jeffrey the Giraffe. Which I'm going to look for him in Area Zero because honestly, that, that's probably the best spot to hunt for him. Okay, so we don't need that. So throw that. Yeet that one on there and go from there. Uh, Nigel says, same saying as Wrench and Works, just UK version. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, Nigel. Like, I was so confused. Like, wait, what does that mean? <laughs> but you're good, man. You are good. Don't forget, guys. I'm kind of dumb. <laughs> uh, at least I'm funny. Funny looking, yes, but still. That's that's something. Alright, so we got our tasty root. Let's make sure we have the encounter rates. We do. Alright, sweet. So let's go hunt for Jeffrey the Giraffe. Alright. Because we can also find his big cousin down here as well, Shiny. So if we get to Jeffrey the Giraffe or one in his evolution, that would be nice. Ooh, Beard of Vet says, I just pulled Gold Arceus. What the heck, Beard of Vet? I'm taking either Brilliant Stars or... um. Yeah, I think it would be Brilliant Stars if I'm not mistaken. I think that's what Gold Arceus is in. GG's. There, uh, Beard of Vet. That was a damn good pull. Alright, so yes, we have Jeffrey the Giraffe everywhere. So let's hope that our shiny luck continues, everybody. And we can go ahead and get our shiny giraffe. 
Uh, Kranzi. Oh, he's in Kranzi. Okay, so I haven't looked at the card list for him, so my bad for that bearded bet. But either way, congratulations, man. Peyton says, that was my first gold card. Hey, that's all. I don't think I have too many gold cards, honestly. Uh, I'd have to look, but either way, GG's, dude. That is a damn good card to have. Alright, so yeah, we're not getting anything over here for our, um, sidekick, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. Beard of Ed says Crown Zen. Uh, Daniel says Crown Zenith has one, two. See, like, again, I haven't looked up the card list for it, so my bad for that, but either way, that that sounds awesome, man. Uh, I should have got some cards this way, too, Daniel. Uh, Nigel says, or I'm sorry, Peyton says, uh, I need that one from Crown Zenith. <laughs> Nigel says, I watch a lot of U uh, UK YouTubers and some t TV, so I picked up those things more than Appalachian ones, which screw the people around where I live. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, Peyton says, and Garatina1 is so sad. I gotta look up this card list for this. Somebody remind me off stream to look up the card list, please, because I don't know what's in this new set yet. Uh, Beard of Vet says, anybody need the TCG codes? Hey, much love to you for offering, my man. I have a ton as well, I just never use them. I I have, like, a full fucking fist stack full of them right now. Alright, so no to that Jeffrey the Giraffe. You guys know, if I get this Pokemon, I'm gonna have to name him Jeffrey. Uh, Peyton says, there's so many good ones in this set. So, I do know Crown Zenith is officially the last set for Sword and Shield. Um, because there are pre-orders, uh, I think they're already available. In Japan, they already have them. Um, for, uh, base set Scarlet and Violet. Uh, which, for Japanese, it's two different ones, uh, two different sets, but that'll have different cards in it. It's uh, Scarlet EX Box and Violet EX Box, which boxes look super, super cool in Japanese, so we're only going to end up getting one. Uh, it's going to be a combination of both of them, but still, I saw the boxes uh, not too long ago, in fact, for Japanese, and it looks they look incredible. Those are out now, too, for Japanese. English, I don't remember what day that set releases. Force, but I'm kind of excited that they are, in fact, bringing back um, EX cards. Because we have not had EX cards since um, since uh, X and Y set. That was, I believe X and Y was the last set that we got just EX cards. Because then they moved, I believe, over to GX. And then the V cards, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, I'm super excited for those to come back because um, for the uh, starter box that they have, they currently have um, they currently have a huge promotional uh, Maridon EX card in the box that looks super incredible. So I was like, are they gonna bring these back fully, or is this just a uh, for, pe for us older folks out there, for some nostalgia. Uh, Peyton says, I'm excited for the EX cards, dude. Dude, you and me both, Peyton. You and me both. Because like I said, that's nostalgia for me. Because uh, those cards are super, super nice looking. Just really looking for them. Uh, Dylan says, anyone want to team up Gren uh, for Greninja Warriors when they start? They do start tonight, uh, without a doubt. And... I'm sure in Disc uh, Discord, once, uh, you know, they come available tonight, there'll be people uh, doing them. So definitely check out the Discord, guys, to see if anybody will, in fact, be doing those to help out with those type of raids. And if you guys want to communicate, we also have voice channels in there. So that way uh, you guys can do that as well. So I'm looking forward to it, but I'm not going to be doing that. Oh, my God, was not even looking for you, Shiny, but I'll take you. Derek with the 1,000 stars. Much love to you, Derek. How are you doing today? Derek says, hey, you look old. Nah. I look like I look like a garbage monster, but much, much love to you, uh, Derek. Thank you for the 1,000 stars, my man. Ooh. Sam says, yes. 
So yeah, if you guys are looking for people that you guys want to do them tonight, because again, I won't be doing these. Uh, I won't be doing Greninja raids until officially tomorrow. So if you guys are looking for partners, make sure to check our Discord. We also have Derek with like much, much love to you, Derek. How are you doing today, bro? Dylan says, "Nice, fine, dude. I don't know what it is. Our shiny look has been insane." Was not even the Pokemon I was going after. We're going for Jeffrey the Giraffe, but hey, I will take it. There we go. Critical capture. It's ours. Payne says, of course, another screen tell. Of course, yeah. We got another one. We got another Yelvis. Oh, goodness. That is great. <laughs> All right. So let's see if we can't get Jeffrey now. All right. Uh, Simon says, I'm up. I think Simon is down for some raids tonight. Um, unfortunately, Simon doesn't use Discord, which, again, don't blame him. Uh, but, uh, I'm sure there are ways that you guys could contact each other that don't use Discord and go from there. Uh, Derek says, you always look cool, brother. And he also says, hungover. <laughs> That's why I look cool to you, Derek. You're just still a little bit, uh... You, you still got a little bit of drink in you, my man. Trust me, I am not. I am nowhere in the slightest way cool. But I do have a funny story. Um, so uh, because you guys know I wasn't streaming yesterday. I went to uh, uh, it's a place called Walk Ons. It's really, really good. Uh, place that has incredible burgers and really good drinks. And anyways, had a couple of drinks there. And uh, our server. It was her birthday, and unfortunately, she had to work on her birthday. I was super full, and she could tell because I did the. Ugh. Oh my god, not another bite. Uh, look. And she comes over and I'm like, and she goes, I'm taking it, you don't want dessert? And I just looked at her dead in the eyes and I said, are you on the menu? Like, did not care. I just said it. Also probably helped add a couple of drinks in me for that liquid courage chat. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, Derek says, bruh, I'm, I'm an hour late for work. I'm not even sweating. Hey, man. Uh, I just hope you don't get in trouble for it, uh, Derek. Oh, goodness. I was playing on the snow, too, the other day, man. Because that sounded like fun. I still want snow. Still don't have it, unfortunately. I don't think I'm going to get lucky and get it this year, unfortunately. Danielle's laughing. Oh, God. Like I said, I had some liquid courage in me. Otherwise, I would have been, like, uh, as you guys know, Full bitch mode when it comes to, like, trying to talk to a female, but I thought it was funny. I thought it was funny. She did, too, thankfully. Uh, but, like, immediately, like, without even thinking, I said, are you on the menu? <laughs> oh, man. The shit, that the shit that comes out of my mouth sometimes, chat, I'm gonna get in super, super trouble one day. Derek says, nah. <laughs> And we got to say I'm laughing. Uh, luckily, luckily, I think one of the reasons I have not been slapped before uh, for some of my stupidity of shit I've said is just because I'm funny. Uh, Derek says, fly up north. Here. Uh, fly up more north, motherfucker. You will see snow. Dude, do what do I look like? A bird? Caw! Hang on. Caw! <laughs> No, I love I love snow. Like I I get for people that have to deal with it every single year. It's like oh god, not this shit again. But for me, who uh, gets it, might get lucky to get snow like every two years or so. I'm just like oh my god, I want some snow. <laughs> you already look like the snowman. Uh, well, call me Frosty then. Oh, God. It's better than what Chad has been calling me lately, Derek. They've been calling me something that makes me cringe. It makes my dick play turtle. And I'm like, no, don't. Don't call me that, please. But it's still there. Luckily, I know it's all a good fun. But just like one of those, oh, God, why? Daniel says, yeah, Blake uh, Blake likes that pa uh, white powdery stuff. Hey, 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 hey. I love sugar, okay? I like sugar. I like all my stuff sweet. Don't you fucking judge me. Da God damn it. Danielle said the word, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say it. Uh-uh. 
Uh, God damn it. Simon says it as well. I'm not saying it. Nope. I refuse. I refuse to say it, chat. Uh, <laughs> Derek says ice cream, man. Ooh, ice cream actually sounds good right now because it's a little bit warm out. Yesterday it was kind of cold, but of course I still went out in shorts and this and that. And, uh, you know, I, I had a couple looks at people like, because I wasn't even wearing a hoodie or anything like that. I was just going out in shorts and a t-shirt like I normally do. People are like, are you not cold? No. Are you? I'm cold just looking at you. Like, okay, cool. Good for you, I guess. Uh, Sam says you brought it up. Yeah, I did. I brought it upon myself. That's fine, though. Yeah, it's fine. It's for content. It's content. It makes you guys laugh, so why not? God damn it. Daniel says, yeah, you brought you brought it up, big D-word. Yep. Every time I say D-word, I swear, I, I wonder if somebody comes in and just like, oh, he's calling himself a dickhead. Cool. <laughs> Fucking Nigel. Nigel says, shiny D-word likes the sugar. Dude, I love sugar. What do you mean? How do you think I got so obese? I don't need a lot of sugar. Uh, Derek says, fuck, they don't have, uh, DoorDash here in home, or I want some ice cream. Dude, ice cream sounds good. I don't have DoorDash where I live either. Uh, well, they have DoorDash down, uh, but not where I am currently at. I will say that. Because, like I said, can't, can't say where I, uh, where, where I am anymore. Because I don't want to get doxxed. All right, come on, Jeffrey. You gotta show up for us, my guy. Uh, I'm not feeling too confident in this one. I guarantee we're probably gonna end up getting another scream tell before we get Jeffrey the giraffe. Payton says, "Always calling it the D word now." Yeah, absolutely. Always gonna call it the D word. It's kind of like uh, there's a certain word I cannot say. I can't say it. Uh, like, f physically, I can't say this. I sounded like I had a stroke, like, 12 years ago, and just cannot say that word for whatever reason. And for, and also, Danielle, um, finds it super funny, and she's like, go on, say the word, and I'm like, I can't, I can't say the word. It's unfortunate. Danielle says, yeah, they don't have DoorDash in hell, and she also says, yeah, he can't say, yep, I can't say that word. I don't know why. I just legitimately cannot for the life of me say that word. I struggle with it. I don't get why. But yeah, I, that C word that she posted in chat, guys, I can't say it for the life of me. Like, if somebody were to uh, hold a gun to my head and say, say that word, or I'm going to do bad things to you, I'm just like, bro, you might as well pull the trigger. I, I can't say that word. Uh... It's so bad. It is so bad. I'm a grown man who can't say that word. I've never been able to say that word. It's unfucking fortunate. <laughs> Derek says, but do you have Kate? Oh, actually, I have a peach cobbler in my kitchen that I might grab after today's session. Does that sound good? Aluminum? No, I can say that. I can say that word. Aluminum. Do, do, do. It's just literally, that is the only word I uh, that Daniel typed out. I legitimately cannot say to save my life. I don't know why. Uh, wait. Okay, no, that wasn't shiny. Go away from me, non-shiny boys. Daniel says, sure to. Good God. Yeah, well, come over to hell, everybody. We got cake at the very least. All right, I'm going to fill up my vapor. It's really good cake. It's angel food cake. It's kind of ironic, I know, because we're in hell and all, but yeah, it's good cake. Lucifer takes up baking in his spare time, guys. He He's really, really good. He's trying out for Master Baker right now. And just, just kind of goes from there, everybody. All right, sorry about that. I had to fill my vapor. Uh, and I just know a Lou Man I am. Aluminum? What the hell is that? I thought you were saying aluminum. I guess that's not what it, I guess that's not how aluminum is spelled. We got Derek laughing. 
Uh, come on, Jeffrey. You gotta show up for a shiny. Oh, uh, how much time do we got left? We have 14 minutes, so we still got some time. So maybe, just maybe, Jeffrey the Giraffe will show up shiny. And so this will be the first uh, hunt in a while that we have actually failed, chat. Daniel says, now I want cake. I want my peach gobbler, but I don't eat on stream. Uh, Nigel says the... The UK version of what you said. Oh, okay. Gotcha, Nigel. Gotcha. That's why I was so confused. Like, wait, what are you talking about? I thought I said it right. Um, Matt says, was that scream tail shiny? Oh, we did catch one. We did, in fact, catch one a minute ago, uh, Matt. And also, what's up, Matt? How are you doing, dude? Uh, Derek says, aluminum foil, duh, in your party. Yep, that is shiny, my man. We did go catch another one. Well, that's like our fourth one that we've caught, uh, Matt. Um, I am currently, however, looking for Jeffrey the Giraffe Shiny. Uh, but yeah, we ended up getting another one, so that's like our fourth one that we captured so far. Like I said, well, I wasn't even looking for that one, but hey, Shiny's a Shiny at this point. Oh, goodness. Let's see. No to that one. No to that one. Like I said, something tells me we'll possibly get another screen tell before we get Jeffrey the Giraffe. Uh, but yeah, Matt, we've been doing a lot of shiny hunts, my man. We actually have all Paradox Pokemon shiny that we caught here on stream. And uh, right now, like, not looking for them. I, like I said, just kind of hunting for Jeffrey the Giraffe right now. Or his big tall cousin, uh, Jared the Giraffe. I don't know. I don't remember what I named him. <laughs> the second one. Oh, goodness. Because either one of them would be cool to add to the shiny collection. We might try Espeon later, too, because I did get shiny Espeon at one point. Uh, but... Like I said, I gave that one away to Danielle because she absolutely loves evolutions and wanted a full shiny set of them, which she finally got. She finally has all of them done. And I was able to help her out just a little bit. Nigel says, six of them in one day. I'm about, yeah, we got six out of seven of them one day, and then the next day we caught uh, the last one. Uh, kind, of, kind of quickly, actually. He wasn't too, too bad. Well, not quickly, quickly, but like uh, first run, we got him, and that was awesome. Like that was a lot of fun doing those. Cause I was thinking, like to me, like uh, I was thinking, like it's gonna be the same as Scarlet, where like it was gonna take us probably a week to get all of them. But the game decided, nah, you're gonna get almost all of them today. And the only reason we didn't go after uh, literally the very last one was I was just out of Urban Mystica at that point. That was legitimately our only reason as to why we didn't go after the last one. So I had to go get Urban Mystica for our next hunt for him. Definitely worth it, though. It was totally worth it, and that was a fun, fun day. Uh, Pat says, sorry, uh, my phone was taken by my sister. You're good, Pat. Welcome back, my man. The only thing you missed, Pat, was we got another shiny screen tail while looking for Jeffrey the Giraffe. Which I'm not feeling too confident in now, I'm not gonna lie. Daniel says about to hunt Giraffe. Uh boy too. Hey, I I think Daniel honestly is gonna get him before we do, chat. I absolutely think she will get him before we do. But this is one that was suggested to us by Danielle. Uh, because like I said. Kind of now, when it comes to shiny hunts, I'm going for not only what I like, but what you guys would like to see shiny hunted as well. So this one was suggested by her, so after that, we will try different Pokemon. If anybody here has any sort of suggestions, uh, just, hey, let me know in chat. I will definitely try my best to go shiny hunt for them. Uh, Pat says, still want that Dreepy. I unfortunately can't shiny hunt Dreepy in this one. 
because he is violent exclusive. I've switched over games that I don't think right now. I don't think I have any Urban Mystica over on um uh I'm trying to think. <laughs> Violet. I'm trying to think. What is the other game called? Goodness. Yeah, I don't think I have any uh, Urban Mystica on Violet. Otherwise, yeah, I would go Shiny Up for him. All right. Oh, God. Pat, you are a monster. Pat wants me to go Shiny Hunt, Peter Griffin Squirrel. God damn it, Pat. <laughs> Why would you do that to me? That is so cursed. Pat, why? I hate that Pokemon. You know I do. I don't even know where he spawns in at. Damn it. That just says I suck it. You guys suck. Why do I give you guys suggestions? <laughs> Alright, I guess we're gonna go after fucking Peter Griffin the Squirrel. Damn it. Uh, alright. You guys want me to go on him? I guess I'll hunt him. I, I hate that Pokemon, but fuck it. We'll do it. Uh, Dylan says, Daniel hooked me up with a 6 IV Umbreon yesterday and got a shiny Tiki Tongue egg from Sir Chester. Very nice, dude. Very, very nice. Yeah, I didn't stay too long on his. Um, like I said, I was taking a mental health break yesterday. So, I was just kind of trying, I was trying my best just to, like, you know, focus on me yesterday. Pretty much. Which I need to do more often, uh, for the sake of you know my mental health and also for the sake of like being able to give out quality content. Because if I'm not feeling myself, then the content is just not going to be as good. And I don't bullshit you guys. Um, when it comes to that, if I'm having an off day while streaming, I straight up let you guys know it. Shiny hunt among why, <laughs> why all these terrible Pokemon? Damn it! I mean, run it to him. Pat says, I want to see that so much. Alright, screw it. We'll do the stupid squirrel. I'm going to name him Peter Griffin. Uh, actually, I'll name him Pat Griffin, because Pat's the one here who suggested it. And we've officially been live for two hours, everybody. Oh, so we've got seven minutes left. Like I said, I'm not feeling too confident on Jeffrey the Giraffe right now. I don't think we're going to get him, unfortunately. Uh, Pat says, Peyton still want that Dreepy. Oh, maybe. Maybe. If he's still watching it, he might be looking for something to trade for it. Daniel says, because I know you hate Yeah, I do hate it. I hate Amoongus. I, I absolutely hate those two Pokemon. But screw it. I'll shiny out them. Why not? I'm a man of my word. Oh, uh, what was that right? Buy that one. Nothing? Okay, cool. We did get something from this run, though, so. And it's Paradox Pokemon, so why not? I'll save it. And it's not what I wanted, but, hey, you win some, you lose some. Uh, we're not even getting that many Jeffrey the Drafts right now. We're just getting mainly Scream Tales right now, unfortunately. Uh, that was a big one. Holy crap. Uh... But like I said, if I don't get him, that's fine, because I guarantee you Danielle is going to get him way before me. That's just not a total fail. Yeah, no, not a total fail at all. We did get something. And like I said, I don't have to save Urban Mystica really anymore, just due to the fact that we did, in fact, get all the uh, Paradox Pokemon, which was one of our big goals, so I don't, have to, uh, I don't have to, like, reset. But I will reset if we just straight up don't get anything. That is the only, only time that I will reset the game now. That and plus, you know, our raids. All right. Oh, Jeffrey. That's what I would have been nice too to find down here. Yeah, we're not getting too many of them spawning in right now. So I don't think... Oh, oh excuse me. Oh, goodness. I don't think uh, we are going to be able to get our shiny giraffe. But either way, that's all right. Why are they so big down here? Goodness. We were getting tiny ones a minute ago. Now they're starting to become huge.
Uh, if I remember right, he does have. If I remember right, Jeff of the Draft does have a secondary type. I should have possibly done his second type, but I did not think of that. I just thought of psychic. All right. Daniel says, "Oh, well, that's what she's." <laughs> That's a big giraffe you got, sir. Like, imagine a woman, like, uh, that you take home. You two are about to get, uh, you know, you know uh, to some adult things. And, uh, all of a sudden, she's like, damn, you got a big giraffe, boy. I think that, that made me feel so uncomfortable. I, I would probably just leave. Like, even if it was my own house. I'd be like, yeah, no, I'm gonna leave. You can stay here. I'm gonna find a new place to live at. You know, you know, take the keys, uh, pay the mortgage. You know, that sort of shit. It, it's it's all yours. Uh, I just take my coats with me. Uh, Dylan says, I'm working on unlocking six R raids. Almost done with battling uh the gym leaders on Scarlet. I have Violet, uh, beat. Then I'm gonna try to finish both games Pokedex. Ooh, nice, bro. Very very nice. Yeah, we also got six stars unlocked for um, uh, Violet. I went ahead and did that stuff uh, off stream uh, the night. Uh, I was saying, like, yeah, we need to get the thing ready so we can do uh, shiny uh, Paradox Pokemon of them. Uh, due to the fact, like, I did not want that to take, like, a majority of the stream, which it took me, like, an hour and a half, I think, to do the entire tournament, as well as refight the gym leaders, which would have taken half of our time, which we've already done that. Um, here on stream, we, uh, did that for Scarlet, actually, kind of thing, because I needed six stars unlocked to do Charizard, so, uh, so we did that one day. Um, Pat says, anyone want a shiny Dreepy? I have two of them. What's up, Martin? How are you doing today, dude? Martin with the like and the share. Much love to you, Martin. God damn it. Martin says, let's go, D-Word Bear. Good God, Martin. How are you doing today, bro? Ah, come on, Jeffrey. Come on, Jeffrey. Come on, Jeffrey. Next time I see Dakota's brother, his name is Jeff, I'm gonna go to, oh, come on, Jeffrey. Let's see if you can understand what the fuck I'm trying to say. Uh, Pat says, because I don't need it. Well, I know Sam here was wanting one, so if nothing else, hold it for, uh, Sam. He might be AFK right now. Not Sam, I'm sorry, Pat. Uh, not even Pat. Good God, I'm getting names confused. Peyton. God, I, how did I mess that up so bad? My bad, everybody. I'm just getting lost. I'm getting lost today. My fault. Oh, never. All right, we out of time. We are almost out of time. Oh, Jeffrey the Draft, you are an asshole if you don't appear, sir. We need you, Sparkly. Oh, man, we're not going to be able to get him. That's one. It's okay, mistakes happen. Yeah, I, know. I make a lot of mistakes. You know that, Pat, without a doubt. But I always try my best to correct my... Like, as soon as I realize what I said, I'm like, wait, I just... I just totally messed that up. Simon says... I will what you want for him. Ooh. We got possibly another shiny trade going on in chat, guys. Uh, Martin says, hi, I'm good. Thanks, Hosey. I'm good. I'm doing good today, man. Doing a lot better today. Just hanging out, playing some Pokemon. And if I get a copy of Dead Space, uh next few hours, uh, I might get a stream up uh, going of that as well. Because I feel like that would be a lot of fun. I know uh, Peyton's also excited for that game. Like, it officially releases tomorrow, but I might be able to get a copy today for it. In the next few hours, in fact. Because uh, I love horror games. Even though sometimes I'm a big wussy crybaby when it comes to them. Okay, so, yes, our sandwich has officially run out chat, so let's go back. And we have to shiny hunt something that was suggested that I hate. 
We have to do Peter Griffin. Squirrel. Uh, Pat says, do you have Scarlet or... I, uh, are you talking to me or, uh, Simon? Simon has Violet. Simon has Violet. I have both copies, uh, for people who don't remember that. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and put up our new edition, which, not bad, not bad. I I was really glad we got this guy. That is a damn good shiny. Alright, so let's go ahead and do save, because we did get a shiny Pokemon there, and it's one that I'm okay with. Alright, so first of all, I gotta look to see where in the hell this Pokemon even is in the game world. That would be a good spot to hunt him, because I really don't remember. Uh, Greedence, Greedence, yes, G, good enough. Uh, let's see. I hate that we have to do that. Uh, Pat says, maybe a shiny Eevee or a Bond Sweet. Ooh, I don't remember what that one looks like. Uh, likes being near trees, focuses intensely when it's eating. Okay, so I think... Okay, so we have quite a few areas for him. Uh, let's try and pull up the map. Um, I'm trying to think where a good spot to shiny hunt for. I don't want to shiny hunt for this one, but this one was one you guys suggested. Um, wherever the poison person was, which I think was here, would be a good spot to do that. Uh, Simon says, Bagon, any good, as I don't have any of those. Shiny Bagon's really, really good to have. Which, uh, for people who don't remember, that is Salamence's, um, first evolution. Which, Salamence is a great Pokemon. Alright, so I think this is... We're gonna check first before I do it, see if we can get him to spawn. And I think he spawns in here. I kind of remember it, but at the same time, I'm not too totally sure. Because it's been a while since we've actually seen him in the wild. And Pat says, okay, Bagon is good. Alright, sweet. Bagon's a good shiny. Salamence is not a disappointing shiny, unlike Garchomp. Alright, uh, like I said, trying to find a good area for the squirrel. But I don't know where would be a good one for him. So I was thinking this area, but I'm not seeing him here. Oh, yep, there he is. Uh, Orangaroo. Oh, we have a chance of getting Orangaroo, too. And then him. All right, I think this might be our best bet for the squirrel. I'm not too terribly sure yet. And then Pat says, what code? Trade code. Yeah, yeah, the trade code. Uh, you guys make it to whatever code you guys want to do uh, for it. I don't know if I saved right there, so I'm going to do a double just in case. All right, and then pff, actually what is normal? I think it's, um, I think normal is tofu, but I don't actually know if I have tofu for this account. Uh, wrong area. Wrong area again on my phone. Let me see. Normal is indeed tofu. So let me check my bag real quick. Yep, okay, we have tofu. All right, we're cool. We're good. All right. Uh, Pat says one number to put in, and Simon puts in the number for it. Sweet. So let's go ahead and get up that. And just kind of go from there. All right. So, yeah, we're going to do a normal sandwich. A normal shiny sandwich, I'd say, in the hopes of getting Peter Griffin. Because you guys, for some reason, want to make a shiny hunt him. All right, that. And then our two Tofu. And then two Herba Mystica. And then our Flypick. We just got to make sure we get the encounter rate uh, for it. <clears throat> all right, so first of all... We're going to have to do our big one, so we're going to have to do the tomato first, because I remember last time we tried a tofu sandwich, 
it was messy. Like, ugh. Because we were trying for, um, LeChunk not too long ago. Peyton says, I was going to pet trade the Dreamy. He is trading it now with Simon, uh, Peyton. He is trading it with Simon right now for Bagon, which is a good one. All right, please tell me that was all of our tofu. Thank God. We are done with that. All right, so now we need our onion. Oh, I don't like this. All right, there we go. Um, <clears throat> Peyton with the upside down smiley face. Um, Pat says, I have two. Uh, I have two. I trade with Simon. I will trade with you. All right, sweet, uh, Pat. Um, like I said, Peyton, um, just tell him some different, he's looking for shiny, a uh, shiny Eevee right now, as well as a shiny Bond Suite. Uh, so if you have either of those two, um, let him know for a trade. God, that's, of course it'd be disgusting if it's tofu. God, that is, that sandwich just looks awful. Oh, it looks like I put sponges on it. All right. So let's see if we, uh. Get it. And Payton says, are you sure, man, you won't have an extra? Oh, good God. All right, so we're looking for... We're looking for Greedence, unfortunately, chat. What is that? Oh, Koala. Okay, I was like, I had no idea what that was. But you guys wanted me to see... Uh, you guys wanted to see him, so... Screw it. We'll try Greedence. Uh, no to any of them. He is kind of a pink color. It's kind of hard to tell right now with it being like a sunset base, but he has a pink color to him. If I don't remember, if I remember correctly, uh, Payton says I don't have an EV extra, but I have Espeon and Sylveon. And wait, that's not shiny, is it? Okay, no, this is the lighting. I actually don't remember what he looks like shiny. And Pat says, Sylveon is perfect. Nice, nice. Dodge says, you'll find a team of them, dude. I, I'm kind of hoping I don't even find one of him. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh, I hate this Pokemon so much. But like I said, I'm a man of my word. And I will indeed try my best to shiny hunt for him. Oranguru, those guys. I'm not doing a Moongus, though. I'm not doing two Pokemon in a row that I hate. I know Daniel wanted me to do him. Next, but no, there's no way I could do him at the same time. Like, I, I, I have to have something good that I have shiny hunt that's good besides Jeffrey the giraffe. Uh, uh, Peyton says, awesome, much appreciated. I'll be ready for you and af after you and Simon. And then Simon and Pat are currently searching for each other. All right, sweet. Like I said, I'm more I'm more than fine with when it comes to you guys trading uh Pokemon in chat and everything like that. Or if you guys have raids that you need help with while well, I'm not doing that, you know, that's that's perfectly, perfectly fine to me. Uh Peyton asked, did you get Jeffrey Black? No, didn't get Jeffrey. I did get another uh scream tell, though. <clears throat> uh Jeffrey the giraffe has evaded us today, unfortunately, uh Peyton. Uh, Dylan says shiny house. We already have Shinx, uh, unfortunately. Ooh, that would not be bad, Young Goose. Yeah, we have Shinx already, uh, shiny. We we caught him while we weren't even shiny hunting. I swear. Um, actually, no, we were shiny hunting. We were uh, it was during a shiny Sunday event, uh, in which we were just hatching our eggs for I believe it was Charmander at that time, and just happened to uh come across one. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Pat says, I mean, it could be long. I'm from Poland. No worries, man. No worries at all. Yeah, sometimes the communication for this game can indeed take a while, unfortunately. But either way, I'm sure Simon here is completely understanding of that. Uh, Martin says, did you do the codes in the video I put in Discord, bro, for all the picnic food? No, I did not do that. For I for completely forgot about that, actually. I, I honestly forgot about that. It's my bad, Pat. Uh, Martin, not Pat, sorry. 
Uh, my bad, Martin. No, I unfortunately did not do that. Ooh, my frame rate went down a little bit right there. I don't know what's going on. Usually this place isn't that bad for uh, for uh, looking for Pokemon. But right now it's a little bit laggy. What is that? Oh, it's him. Actually, I don't remember what those two look like. Uh, kind of, They're kind of forgettable, honestly. The little normal poison lemur Pokemon. Uh, Martin says, bro, you get a lot of... Yeah. I just haven't been... I just have not put the code in yet for them, unfortunately. Uh, are they still available, Martin? Do you know? Because if so, I'll definitely put the codes in for both games. Alright. Uh, I can't believe you guys had me hunting the squirrel. Luckily, we're getting other Pokemon as well, so we might... We might be able to get LeChunk's uh, evolution. So maybe? I'm kind of hoping we don't get green, and if I'm not lying. Ah, <laughs> uh, so. Okay, no green up there. Uh, Yangus would be a good one to have, too, because he has a cool pink stripe to him, as opposed to that yellow one. Not really cool Pokemon, but a pretty decent shiny, nonetheless. Ah, uh, no to the pig. Yeah, I don't remember what uh, the little lemur Pokemon looks like shiny, and I also don't remember what the koala looks like. I remember what Rangaroo looks like. He's pretty easy to find. Uh, <laughs> I just said you'll find a full team of squirrel, dude. Why would you curse me like that? Oh, thank God, he's a shiny. Uh, the one time I don't want to find a shiny Pokemon. <laughs> uh, Martin says, yeah, some of them expire at the end of this month and some in the middle of next month. Okay, all right, so yeah. So I still got some time to put those in, so yeah. I'll go watch the video. I'll go uh, watch it. And then uh, do that. Uh. Pat says, wait, what color is the shiny PD Gray? He is pink. He is a pink shiny. Uh, Pat says, I can't believe you're actually looking for Peter Griffin. Oh, well, the lemur has, like, gray eyes. Okay, so we have to look at his eyes. All right. And, yeah, like I said, I'm a man of my word. If you guys suggest something, I'll do it. I don't care. Like I said, I'm not going to do a Moongus at the same time. Like, I have to do something that's at least good. But, yeah, why not? I'll do it. Uh, because everybody here knows I don't like those two Pokemon, but I'm a man of my word, and so if I shiny on, yeah, I'll go for him. Why not? <clears throat> Let's see. We can also get to, we can get Dunsparce for Dunsparce because we don't have that one yet. So yeah, so instead of like that brown color, it I won't lie, it is kind of hard to tell, but it is a pink little bit for it. Uh, Simon says, Pat, you put a code in and we can try again. Yeah. So Pat's having a little bit of issue with, uh, <clears throat> connect, or, uh, being able to find Simon right now, uh, for the trade. So just give him a little bit of time, guys. Which, it happens. It happens to me, too. You guys have seen it. Like, there's a lot of errors in this game, unfortunately, when it comes to trading. And it's a pain in the ass. Uh, does anybody remember what the koala looks like, uh, shiny? Because I don't think I've ever seen his shiny before. Uh, another or the same. Paid says, make yeah, make sure you're online, too. That does happen from time to time. But yeah, make sure you both are online while doing, uh, while doing trades. Uh, another. I'm online. I check. All right, cool, cool. J just making sure. But Paid made a good point because that that has happened. Danielle has started doing trades before, as an example. And I was like, "Are you connected online?" She goes, "No." So it happens. It happens. Uh, Payton says his drum is pinkish purple. I think. Okay. Uh, 
Daniel says, Loggy holds his paint. Okay, cool. So we're looking for a pink drum on him. Sweet. Thank you, guys. Because, again, I did not know because I've never seen his shiny before. Like, some of them, obviously, I can remember, like, the squirrel because I hate that Pokemon. But uh, when it comes to, like, ones I've never seen before, obviously, I'm not going to know what they look like shiny. Um... Payne says, I'm ready for our trade too, Pat. All right, he, he still hasn't traded with uh, Simon yet, uh, man. Like, they're having some, some issues right now trying to get to each other. But either way, like, just give them a minute, my man, and they will get you yours too. Dylan says his stump is pink. All right, sweet. So, yeah, he does, in fact, uh, all right, so I've been confirmed. He does, in fact, have a, have a uh, pink drum to him. All right, sweet. Uh, and Pat says, okay, start searching. All right, sweet. Hopefully you guys find each other. All right, uh, notes to that one. Notes to him. Because like I said, right now, the quote-unquote big prize is, uh, unfortunately, Peter Griffin Squirrel. Uh, that's what everybody wanted me to shiny hunt, so I did. I didn't mean to run into him. All right, so... Sam says, how about Shiny Halucha? That would not be bad either, Shiny Halucha. Uh, I would have to... I don't know if it would be good to go Shiny Hunt for him in Area Zero or not, but that would not be a bad one, Sam. All right, so Pat has his coat up, and Dylan says, I always thought it was the stump of a tree he was holding on to. Didn't realize it was a drum. Yeah, it's, I, it could be, I think it might be a log, but I'll, I'd call it a drum. I think it's a drum. But either way, we know it. We know it's he's holding something. We know that. Uh, I think it's a drum, but it could just be a little log type of thing. I really, really, really don't know. Oh, uh, goodness. Uh, Nigel says, I want to make a team of squirrel raids to fight. Good God, Nigel. Why? <laughs> why would you curse me like that, Nigel, and then try to curse yourself? Uh, Peyton says, let me know when you two are finished, and I'll start searching, uh, that code, and then Simon is also searching. So, yeah, see, it looks like a little drum as opposed to a log, but it also looks like a log, too, so. I don't know <laughs> what it is, but either way, we know he's holding something, that it doesn't really matter what it is. Uh... All right, thank God, no squirrel. I kind of want to mind uh, having koala, uh, shiny, just because I've I honestly have never seen it shiny before. Now, yeah, it doesn't sound too cool, but at the same time, like that, it's something different than what we've ever shiny hunted. Oranguru want to be too bad either. I do like uh, the other version exclusive. Uh, Monkey Man, uh, way, way better than him, though, Shiny. is definitely better. Uh, Peyton says, holding the beast, like, God damn it, Peyton. Uh, Nigel says, a drum made out of a log, question mark? I, possibly. Maybe that is always possible. He's holding something. Uh, now that's the question of the day, what the fuck is he holding? <laughs> I don't think anyone's ever just looked at it too, uh, too, uh, well. Uh, I don't think our shiny luck is going all that well today. What is with the bish jar? Hello, and Psyduck? Hi. Okay. I didn't know they could spawn him here. Not pit, bish jar, pawn yard. Uh, Sam says, how do you evolve Sandy? Uh, just levels. Like, I believe we evolved our, uh, we evolved one of the two that we found shiny the other day, and I believe it was, like, at level 40 he evolved, if I'm not mistaken. So his is just levels, Sam. Uh, which that was a great shiny hunt right there. We ended up getting two of them. So I was very, very happy for that. Because we got his entire evolutionary line finished. Okay, so no to that. No to the pig. And again, if we don't get anything, that's fine. I agree with set. And then we will go for something else. Uh, like I said, I would not mind, however, the koala or ranguru. Even though the bi big prize, excuse me. Is the stupid squirrel. 
uh, one of the worst Pokemon to me in the entire world. All right, so no to him. I'm kind of checking around here to make sure none doesn't spawn in the back. Oranguru would not be too terrible as well to me. I just got to kind of keep an eye out for the koala. Uh, due to the fact that he's so small, and his only change is literally the little log drum thing. Log drum, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so we have to look out for him. For him and his evolution, I believe we are just looking for different colored eyes, kind of like Jigglypuff. Uh, if that was confirmed to me. Nigel says the squirrel is someone's favorite. Hey, look, whoever whoever's uh, favorite Pokemon is the squirrel, Peter Griffin Pokemon. I want to know a very serious question. Is that person a serial killer? Like, are, are they a maniac? Do they, like, put ketchup on top of their fries? Uh, do they, like, uh, just straight up uh, hurting people? You know, that sort of thing. Like, what is wrong with that person? Because something's not right with them. Alright, turn around for me. Okay, no, your eyes are green. No to him. No to him. Turn around. Turn around. There we go. <laughs> we got Nigel. <laughs> we got Nigel laughing. And then Peyton just goes, Who hurt them? Yeah, just go up. Dude, bro, who hurt you? Who hurt you? They're like, nah, we have cool Pokemon like Greninja, Charizard, and and Dragonite. Like he's like, nah, I don't like them. I want I want I want my squirrel. Like, what? Oh, good God. Pat says, I like the squirrel because I love to laugh when you talk about how much you hate it. So you you only like it because of the fact of how much I bitch about him. <laughs> oh, good God. I, like, I legitimately hate that Pokemon so, so much. Uh, uh, imagine, like, if they made him, like, a uh, super, super rare card. And, uh, I'm just, like, open up eggs, and I'm like, are you, and I get it, and I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Uh, Simon says, Pat, I can't find you. We, I don't know why it's, trades might be messed up, because the other day, apparently, trades were, like, messing up for everybody. Oh, when it came down to it, so it might still be messed up. I'm not too sure. I hope you two find each other, though, for your trade. Uh. Nigel says Tropius and Typhlosion for me. Both are good. Both are good Pokemon, without a doubt. Tro Tropius is in this game. I'm surprised you haven't shiny hunted for him yet, uh, Nigel. And Typhlosion might be in the next one. Uh, Pat says maybe I reset the game. E maybe that might help. Like I said, sometimes trades can be a little bit. Uh, buggy. Because even sometimes, like, on Shiny Sunday, like, we'll get somebody and it's like, oh, communication error, yada, 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 and that's been happening a lot, unfortunately. So, hopefully with this new update, that will indeed fix it. Thank God, no squirrel. Um, Pat, uh, Peyton says, I hope so, because I need, uh, I need this Dreepy. And, uh, he also says, I do like Tropius. Like, Tropius wasn't too bad. He wasn't too bad. I I don't remember what his shiny looks like. I want to say he's just like a little bit off-colored. He's not too, too great for his shiny. If I remember right. Okay, uh, so now he... Alright, so... Okay, so he, okay, so for right now he's trying to trade with Peyton, it looks like, to see if he can't get him real quick. And then probably we'll try to trade Simon right after. See if it see if it is in fact working correctly. Which I hope it is. How much time do we got? We have thirteen minutes left for this hunt. Uh no to him, no to him, no to him, no to him. Show me your eyes. Show me your eyes. Nope, green. Because uh I wanna say I want to say his is probably the same as the lemur, then, where it's show me your eyes. 
Uh, show me a drum. Nope. Brown drum. No pink body. Yeah, some Pokemon I hear. I'm not going to lie. They're kind of hard to spot. And Payton says, searching now. Okay, cool. Uh, no to that one. No to that one. Uh, Martin says, I haven't gotten Pokemon ready for tomorrow. Bro, you better get on it, Martin. You better get on it. Uh, I haven't heard from him today, but Byron, uh, the last time he did do a stream, said he was going to work on both Claude Sire and Gastrodon for the community. He's, pro he's most likely at work today, so we probably won't hear from him today, chat. But either way... Um, and those are the Pokemon that I think would honestly be the best for this raid. But we will definitely, definitely have more information uh, tonight for him. Uh, well, well, technically for tomorrow. You, you know, more information tomorrow. But tonight he will come out. And like I said, I'm not going to be doing it until tomorrow for the event. So... Hopefully, we can get some for you guys up there. Okay, he's not trying. I thought I saw something different. Okay, show me. I didn't mean to run into you. Uh, Pat says, okay, wait, I have an idea. And Peyton says, what's the idea, but I couldn't find you. Okay, so yeah, it is something on uh, Pat's end right now for it um martin says yeah he said he will try to sort one out for me yeah yeah like i say he's probably just busy today so we probably uh, at work so again uh we probably won't hear from him today but if we do i will ask him uh i will ask him if he ha has those ready for us if not it is no worries because again he's doing he would be doing this you know on his free time and uh, he's doing his best for you guys, as I am for you as well. All right. So no to those two. No to that one. I can't wait to be done with this hunt. Uh, I think I may have rubbed a little bit too much shiny luck over on uh, Peyton, guys, because I'm not getting too lucky today, chat. All right, turn around. No. No to that one. Uh, okay. Uh, pay, uh, Pat says, okay, now searching. Now searching. Now code is that. And ask, are you searching? Uh, which one are you asking uh, if they're searching? Um, Pat, are you asking for Peyton or Simon? Okay, so, okay, Peyton, Peyton is searching. Okay, cool, cool. Alright, so no to that one. No to him. Ah, yeah, like I said, I'm not feeling too confident on this one, but for anything shiny for this one. But you never know. We still got, what, 10 minutes for this one, so... Who knows? Maybe, just maybe, we will get something. Okay, no to him. Uh, sir? Nope. Oh, I did not even see anything in that bush. Alright, so we can go ahead and run. Let's try and get a better look at that thing. It, lo it looks like a log and a drum. I don't know what that is at this point. I'm so lost on what that possibly could be. Uh, no to Dunsparce. I think you have green eyes. Yeah, you have green eyes. What about you? Green eyes. No to a little bit of pink on you. Hey, there we go. It worked. Hell yeah. Pat says, let's go. It worked. Peyton says, thank you, Pat. And then Simon says, we do same code. And, uh, and Pat says, I'm the one thinking, hey, dude, I'm glad it finally worked for you guys. It took a minute, but, you know, it is definitely, definitely worth it. 
And congratulations on your shiny trades, my guys. Uh, Dylan says, we'll just say his wood. <laughs> that sounds so right. Let's check his wood out. Shit. Oh my god, I thought that was... I thought we just got the stupid squirrel. Uh, shiny. Thank god. Oh, I'm so worried if we get him shiny, because I don't want to add him to my shiny collection. <laughs> All right, and Pat is searching with the same code. Oh, goodness. All right, what are you? What's that so wrong? Let's check out his wood, everybody. And it worked with Simon immediately. Yes, awesome. I don't know what you did, Pat, to make it work, but congrats, bro. I'm glad it worked. Ah, uh, there we go. So what did you do different, Pat, uh, if you don't mind my asking, to make it work? And Simon also says, thanks, Pat. Sweet. I'm glad you guys were able to trade. Alright. Uh, note to the squirrel. Uh, let's see. Notes in that one. I think you have green eyes. Yep. Good on you. Uh, Simon says, I swear my blind eyes can't tell with Ghastly. I've probably missed the shiny. Alright. Yeah, unfortunately, he, like, he looks really, really different in this one um, for his shiny. Uh, I do have one in my box that was given to us by Danielle, uh, Peyton, if you need me to show you him. Like, we do have one we can show you for reference for it. Pat says, no problem, and Martin says, that's just normal for Blade checking out the wood. God, God damn it, Martin. <laughs> um, Pat says, put cartridge in and out, and it was Nintendo for, like, a week straight, but needed a short break. Oh, okay, so it was your Switch. Gotcha, bro. Gotcha. Uh, Peyton says, it angers me. I would appreciate that good sir. All right, yeah, I'll show you. I'm not even focused on the shiny hunt really right now because I don't care about the Pokemon. Uh, let me look to see. Okay, so there he is. So that's what you... That's... Yeah, I can see why it's a little bit frustrating to tell, like, uh, which one is which. Uh, Peyton... Uh, that's one Danielle gave me, so... Because uh, the blue, honestly, some of them look uh, like it, but if you look in the center of him, he kind of has a almost medium kind of purple to him for his ga for Ghastly as well. So that's kind of what you're looking for. I know why you're frustrated uh, on it, because I had the same issue, my man. Payne says, that's so dumb. Yeah, no, I agree. He's actually really, really hard to tell in this game. And believe it or not, uh, in Pokemon Legends Arceus, uh, a lot of people said that was their most common one to get shiny. I never got him shiny in that game. I ended up catching Gengar shiny and Haunter shiny, but I never ended up with Ghastly. Because like later on, they made it so uh, Gengar can appear in massive mass outbreaks. So I never ended up getting... Uh, Never, ever, ever ended up getting Ghastly, which was surprising. Because, like, a lot of people said he was really con Like, the ghost Pokemon were kind of common, which I agree. Because uh, I did get end up... I did get up, uh, end up getting a lot of Drifloom uh, shiny, but never found him. What is that? Okay, good God. Oh, I did not know what that was for a minute. I was kind of worried. Uh, Pat says, I'm officially... Over full shiny team and unique shiny. Hey, nice, bro. Very, very nice. Congrats on your shiny team, Pat. Uh, having a full shiny team is awesome. I will say, I will admit. Because uh, you guys know, I do a lot of shiny hunts here. How much time do we have left for this one? Five minutes. Thank God. Five minutes and we can switch over to our last one of the day. Right, so no to those two. Uh, let's see. No to them. No to him or him. Like I said, Rangaroo wouldn't be too bad to find. And the Koala wouldn't be too bad either. Just for the fact, like, I've never seen him shiny before. But yeah, it's not a great shiny. 
but at the same time, like it's something different. So I would not be too disappointed if we uh, got something along those two lines. But if we don't get anything here, this will be our first one that we have failed in quite a long time, actually. But like I said, you guys suggested him, so screw it. I'm just not doing Amoongus today. If we do Amoongus, it'll be a different day, but I want to do something actually, a good shiny. I want to do a good shiny and a good Pokemon. Uh, which somebody suggested uh, Halucha. That wouldn't be too, too bad to go out and find. Uh, I think we would have to try for him possibly in Area Zero. Because I don't know all too well where he spawns. And we got MJ with the light. What's up, MJ? I almost said Marissa. How are you doing today, dude? Alright, so those are those two pigs. Uh, ooh, I gotta read that. Okay, so for um, Pat's full shiny team, he has Reverum, Gillimore, Kilowattrel, Dragapult, Gudra, Sylveon, and the Bay God. Dude, that is a great team, honestly, to have. Those are really, really good. Um, Peyton says, it's an honor to have my Sylveon on your team. Hey. Uh, Pat says, I need to leave by. All right, thanks for hanging out with us, Pat. And go have yourself a rest a rest of a good day, and we hope to see you again next time, my man. Uh, Sam says, yeah, mountains. See, I don't know where in the mountains, though, to go hunt him. So I was thinking Area Zero would be a good spot for him, because I do see him down there quite a lot when we don't have the sandwich going. So maybe if we do, if we do fighting as opposed to flying, because there are, like, Corviknight down there as well. I don't think there's anything fighting up top so we might try that mj says good how are you i'm doing all right today mj doing all right doing some shiny hunts chilling with chat and just goofing around looking for <sighs> unfortunately a pokemon that was suggested by the community to shiny hunt which was uh the stupid squirrel <laughs> so we're gonna do halucha next because like i said i can't do two bad shinies in a row i are two pokemon i just hate i can't do those twice in a row and uh, Simon also says, thanks, but yes, much love. And much love to you guys for trading, too, and being fair about it. I appreciate it. Because I know some people can be mischievous when it comes to it, but you guys here in the community have been super, super chill about everything, and I appreciate it. MJ says, I got shiny, I got Jeffrey shiny, Dodonzo, Palmo, Physion, and I'm after Cyclozar now. Ooh, very nice. We did try Jeffrey the Giraffe earlier. Um, Oh my fucking god. You are shitting me. <laughs> Why? Why did you show up at the end, you motherfucking squirrel? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. We got pain laughing. Simon says GG's. Oh. Fuck. I don't want to waste my... Yeah. We're naming him. Since the bird... Alright, I made him thanks, Pat, because, like, he did, like, suggest this shiny hunt. Are you fucking kidding? How much time do we have? We had 50 seconds! The game couldn't wait 50 seconds for this shiny? Are you kidding me? God damn it. Are you shitting me right now? We just had to get him. We let. I, I saw, I, I literally saw him out of the corner of my eye. I was like, there's no fucking way right now. There is no way. Oh my god. I gotta scroll, I gotta scroll fucking back up in chat. Oh, Simon says GG's. Much love to you, Simon. I just didn't want this Pokemon. 
Uh, that was our first one, MJ. MJ says, how many scores have you got? That was our first one. I was just trying not to catch him. It was one that was suggested, uh, the stupid squirrel. Martin laughing, Sam laughing, Nigel laughing, Martin with the clip. Payton says, time to put him on your team. No. God, no. We are not putting him on our team. Hell no. Oh, good God. And of course, I, 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 I don't know what to do now. I really don't. Why is this my life? Why is this my life? Nigel with the clip. And <laughs> Chaz is Pat in here. He just left. Literally, as soon as he leaves, we get the stupid squirrel. You should have looked the other way, dude. Oh my god, I should have. I know you guys don't know what I'm pointing I'm pointing at my TV. Like, that's where my TV is. Are you fucking kidding me, game? Are you absolutely shitting me? I've got to save it. I've got to save it, too. Somebody just remind me next time Pat's in here to show him what he's done to us, chat. Just to show him what he has done to us. It's not Peter Griffin, but it's just as bad. Like, I, I have to do that. All right, let's go for a good one now, chat. We're gonna go for our lucha. I want check. I think he's fighting and flying, but I just want. I want to double check. That is. That that is that. I'm in such visible pain. Oh my god. Why? <laughs> just why game? Oh, good god. I just said you should fall for it now. And MJ says, damn, he was, he was just giving me shine. Just... Oh, God. No, we'll keep him asking because if, ever, if he ever gets suggested again, we got to go for him. Oh, good God. Payton says, how Lucha is such a good shine. Yes, he is a good shine. And we don't have him yet for the collection. Uh, did I... That fuck up? I didn't fuck up. I missed him. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure that he is indeed what I'm thinking. Yep, he is fighting and flying. Uh, MJ says, I have uh, two Alucha on both uh, accident. Oh, I think Shaman accounts. I think Shaman accounts. Nice, MJ. Uh, Martin says, MJ, he just left before you came in today. Yeah, he literally just, he knew, chat. I'm telling you right now, Pat is a witch doctor. He knew. We were going to get it. He's like, all right, I'm out. Peace. What do I need for uh, fighting? Uh, two pickles. I think I have pickles. Let me check my bag. Oh, good God. I fucking hate that Pokemon so much, Tap. All right, yeah, we got pickles. Uh, MJ says, no, they're both accident shinies. Gotcha. Kind of like me. I was an accident. I was an accident, chat, but I had to be born. Uh, who else is going to entertain you guys with uh, complaining about shinies? <laughs> oh, good God. All right, so we're going to go down here. Yeah, we're going to try farming area zero. He, he's a great shiny, though. It's time to get something good. All right, so we saved it. So let's get our picnic up and go for him, which he is two pickles. All right. Um. So let's make a sandwich. Go over there. Tomato, two pickle, onion, green. Yeah, I definitely need to go get some more uh, ingredients soon because we are just about out. We need to make sure that we at least also have our encounter. Uh, Mart says, "Wow, don't say that, bro. Dude. It's it's kind of true though. I was kind of an oopsie." <laughs> But I had to be born, guys. I'm too. I was. I was too funny not to be born. Funny looking, but still. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, good God. So let's let's get some green peppers on there. Our onion and then our pickles. All right. Do we make it go? Yeah, there we go. Uh, MJ says, I was looking for a Haunter, got Halucha, was looking for a Snom, got another shiny Halucha. I've had that happen to me before. 
uh, where I'm looking for a certain Pokemon and then something else just pops up. I'm like, eh, I'll take you. Why not? You're shiny. You are shiny, so I'll definitely take you. So, boom. There we go. Like I said, this is, uh, this is gonna be our final, uh, shiny hunt of the day, chat. Mart says, accidents happen for a reason, my bro. Hey, that's true. That is true. Like I said, I had to be born. Like, where else are you guys gonna get some goofy entertainment from me? I don't want to say good, but goofy. I'll say goofy. We got goofy entertainment. All right. So let's check it out. See if we got our encounter and go from there. All right. Yep. We got encounter. So I believe the only... There are... Uh, we can also get uh, Medichan as well. Medchan and Medtite. I believe that's their names. I can't really remember. It's been a while since I've seen them. But anyways, we can encounter them down here as well, but... Our big, big prize is going to be Palucha. MJ says, isn't Ninja... Yes, Greninja is tomorrow. We will be doing... He technically comes out tonight, but we will not be doing him here until tomorrow. He does not come out until 6 p.m. my time. Uh, so that's kind of, you know, that's kind of late for me, and I'm kind of like doing, you know, the other things. So, yeah, I will be doing him... Uh, oh, we might have messed up. I forgot about Slitherwing. Yeah. Oops. Ah, <laughs> uh, goodness. Uh, well, we technically haven't caught him yet. Danielle gave us her, so maybe. But at the same time, I do want to go for Halucha. So, because usually, because yeah, we're not even getting him right now. There's one. There's two. Oh, goodness. Okay, yeah, we're getting some. We're getting some over here. Alright, so I'm guessing maybe, just maybe, the angel technique might be our best bet here, probably. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and, f I'm gonna go ahead and call it now. I think the angel technique is gonna be best for Halucha. Like, because we get him, we can also do uh, Slitherwing. Because... Technically, we didn't catch him, but he was given to us as an extra one that Danielle had shiny. Uh, so that was literally the only one we have not shiny hunted for ourselves. But yeah, it looks like the angel technique is going to be the best one here for Halucha. Luckily, too, Halucha, stupid easy to spot at a crowd. Because uh, I don't think I have Halucha shiny on anything. Uh, cause I don't think he was, I know for a fact he wasn't in Diamond Pearl, obviously. He wasn't in Arceus, but I don't remember if he was in Sword and Shield or not. I really, really don't remember. But either way, uh, let's hope our shiny luck continues and we get him. Cause we have got two shinies today. One of them is an extra, which was our, um, our Scream Tell. And then we caught, we caught Thanks, Pat. <laughs> Oh, I didn't mean to run into him. Uh, Holluch is so cool, though. He is a really cool Pokemon. All right. Uh, and luckily, I do also remember what he looks like, too, because I do have the Radiant uh, card of him. From I don't remember what set, though. I want to say it was Astral Radiance uh, for that card. But, yeah, I have Radiant uh, Halucha card. So hopefully we'll get some luck. I have never seen you fly before, my guy. Alright. I still hate the climbing mechanic. <laughs> it's still the worst one we've gotten so far. Alright, so let's see. Let's get all these birds in for us. And go from there. But like I said, either way, though, this will, in fact, be our last shiny hunt of the day. Because after I get, we are literally on the, um, we're literally a minute away from being the three hour mark, which is our minimum. And I got a few things I need to do off stream today. And plus, uh, I am 
trying to see if I can get a copy of Dead Space tonight. Because if I get a copy of Dead Space, we might go. We might do a late night stream tonight for uh, it, which I think would be a lot of fun to do. Because I like horror video games as well. Plus, it'd be something a little bit different. But definitely tomorrow and Saturday, we will in fact be doing our Greninja uh, raids, and then Sunday, of course will be our shiny Sunday events. Martin says, no, you're not allowed to go. Ah, <laughs> oh, Martin. Sorry, bro. Like I said, I got stuff I gotta do, my man. But you know me. If I could, I would literally be doing this 24-7. Because I like playing video games. But I got some stuff I have to do, unfortunately, today. Ah. Uh, Alright. So let's check out these Haluchas. Because I didn't get any, like I said, I was pretty much out of my house the entire day yesterday. And just, uh, by the time I got home, I was just relaxing. Uh, and Jay says, can we get a Shiny Ninja? Yeah, we will have, uh, so for Shiny Sunday, uh, we will indeed have, there'll be an egg, so that way they'll be in your guy's name. Uh, we will, because of the fact he will be legal now, we will in fact have Shiny Froki to give out to the community. I'm not sure how many yet. But uh, our moderator, Angel, is working on those for us. And uh, we will also be doing the Masuda method for R. So I will be shiny hunting for him uh, for my own personal collection through the Masuda method. And then you guys will have a chance to get him shiny for Sunday. And don't worry, if we run out of Pokemon, you guys know we will always, always, always get more. Because we, we look out for what you guys definitely look forward to for Shiny Sunday. And also, for this Shiny Sunday, uh, we're going to be doing the same thing that we did last Shiny Sunday. In which we are doing, like, whoever pulls a certain Pokemon. I will not say what Pokemon it is until Shiny Sunday. We'll get a huge, huge bonus prize as well. Because that went over really, really well. And you guys seem to have really liked it. But, again, that was also not my idea. That was indeed angel's idea for it so props to her for that because it was a lot of fun it was literally a last minute idea that she had and uh, she explained it to me because i didn't know what she was talking about first i'm like wait what are you talking about and then um the more we discussed it like on a call and things like that i was like that actually sounds like a lot of fun because last week we did eevee and all the evolutions this week it's going to be something a little bit different but Either way, I'm sure you guys out there are going to enjoy it. And we have also officially been live for three hours, everybody. Martin with the celebrating icon. Nigel says, uh, Froki is not the special hunt, correct? Yeah, no. Froki is not the special hunt. Like I said, I will not say what the Pokemon is. That will be the special, like, uh, whoever hatches it uh, from it gets the big, big prize sort of ordeal. Until Sunday, but no. Froakie's just a normal one. Froakie would just be a normal giveaway egg type of one. But like I said, it's going to be a lot, a lot of fun to do. Uh, I believe, too, we will indeed have both legendary Pokemon again. Coridon and Maridon. I'll go ahead and tell you some of the stuff. I believe we will also have some starter Pokemon. Because I don't... Uh, here's the thing. We were pretty sure that we had some shiny Pokemon uh, for the starters for Shiny Sunday. But we didn't see anybody claim them. So we don't know if like anybody even got any of them or what was going on. I do have, however, um, which I might do a couple of them before we end today's session. We do still have some leftover shiny eggs from our last Shiny Sunday event. So, I might actually give out some of those after the sandwich is complete. So, stay tuned, guys. Just because, you know what? Why the hell not? MJ says, I got a normal cat. That's right. Yeah, MJ did get a normal cat. That was supposed to be shiny, but we did fix it. Uh, Peyton also got a normal Charmander uh, that we did end up fixing as well. So, mistakes do happen. You know, if that does happen, you guys know we will, in fact... Uh, we will, in fact, correct them because, you know, shit happens. Like, we can't be 100% correct all the time, but when a mistake does occur, 
we do our best here to fix it for you guys. Uh, Martin says, I have them all. You would have them all at this point, bro. Uh, the only one I'm missing is Quaxley. But I don't like Quaxley, so it does not bother me that I don't have him shiny. Actually, no, I think I do have him shiny. I think Danielle gave me a shiny uh, one for Violet that we uh, evolved all the way. Nigel says, darn, I don't have Wi-Fi right now. I'll tell you what, Nigel. I'll save you a couple. Why not, my man? You've been here all day, so I'll save you a couple for later. All right. I'm not sure how many eggs I have left either. And again, if they don't end up being shiny, you guys know. Just let me know, and I will indeed try my best to fix that. Because again, mistakes happen. They are bound to happen in our line of work, but still. Uh, MJ says, I have them all too. Hey, nice, MJ. Very, very nice. I believe we will also have um, Charmander and Score Bunny and Froakie. And whatever else, I'm not too entirely sure yet because um, I kind of leave that up to Angel when it comes to making who's been making our shiny Pokemon for shiny Sunday the past uh, couple of Sundays. Just due to the fact she knows what's good. Like, I trust her judgment when it comes to uh, shiny Pokemon. So I know for a fact that she knows what we consider good here on the channel and what we just kind of consider garbage for shinies. All right, so let's see. No to any of these boys. Uh, Anthony says, on the train, heading home to get on. All right, sweet, bro, sweet. Like I said, this is our last one, but I will, in fact, give out some shiny eggs to you guys. MJ says, I still need the shiny bunny. <laughs> uh, actually, believe it or not, I did hatch him uh, a couple of shiny Sundays ago uh, for shiny Sunday, which was awesome. I was really, really glad. That we finally got a Basuda Method shiny, and it ha just so happened to be him. But we are not going to stop until I get Greninja, guys. I want my shiny ninja. Uh, Martin says, how are you going along? Are you going to be on uh, for, bro? Uh, well, it always, I think we have another, what, 20? We have about 20 minutes left for this. Um, and I'm going to give out some eggs. Uh, because, like, you know, I like having new stuff for, uh, to give out to you guys on Shiny Sunday. So we'll give out some Pokemon today. So I would roughly say about 20 to 30 minutes left for today's session. We'll go, we'll go for a little bit. So we're going to do the Shiny Hunt, and then we are going to, uh, give out some eggs to you guys that are watching. And since Nigel currently does not have Wi-Fi to be able to connect to his Switch, I'm going to let him have first grab of a shiny Pokemon, and uh, we will save it for him for later. So yeah, we are almost done with today's session though, Martin. All right, so no to Halucha so far. I'm kind of hoping we get him. That'd be a very, very nice Pokemon to add to our collection. We got Travis with the follow and the like. Much love to you, Travis. How are you doing today, dude? All right, so... Still looking for a halucha. Uh, Martin says, okay, bro, I'll try to get back to you. I've got to put my son to bed now. All right, no worries at all, Martin. No worries at all, man. You know for a fact, Martin, I appreciate you being here, and I understand you're a parent, my man. You are a parent on a different time zone, too. So anytime you get to watch, man, or anybody in this case, like, it is always highly, highly appreciated. Uh, who's, uh, Nigel said, who suggested Halucha? That would be Sam. Sam suggested Halucha originally, and then Peyton also, I believe, doubled down on it as well. So those two. But Sam was the original one for Halucha, if I remember correctly. All right, so, yeah, we don't have him yet. But like I said, I believe the angel technique down here is honestly going to be our best bet for him. Uh, Martin says, hopefully I'm back for the eggs. Hey, 
Like I said, I got a little bit of time, my man. So, hopefully. Sam says, uh, yeah, I would love to have one. Haven't done the hunt uh, yet. Well, yeah, I I don't have him either. And this is my first time shiny hunting for him as well, Sam. So you did suggest a really, really good one. Martin says, see you soon. All right, bro. If we don't catch you later um, today, then absolutely have a wonderful rest of your night. It's nighttime for Martin. So definitely, definitely have a good rest of your evening, my man. Uh, Peyton says, later, Martin. Simon says, be right back. Save a shiny for me. Well, hey, I will, man. I will save you a shiny as well. Nigel says, okay, we might need the same thing to happen as the squirrel where he just shows, yeah, where he just shows up, like, at the last second. <laughs> like, literally, I was so hoping, like, of course I'd be the only person who does shiny hunts on stream to complain about the shiny that we capture, but I was just like, are you kidding me right now? Why him of all Pokemon? All right. Uh, so maybe... Luckily, like I said, he is an easy Pokemon to spot shiny. So maybe, just maybe, our shiny luck will continue like how it's been crazy for the past couple of weeks now. Uh, I'm not too sure for this one. Um, <clears throat> I don't remember who it was, but somebody did suggest the mountains, which is true, but I... Don't know exactly where in the world it would be good at, but I to be fair, I also did not uh, put into mind the Slitherwing being a fighting type Pokemon as well. So we're getting him down here as well for uh, encounter rates. Um, and I just said, well, Pat left, and then we and we find the shiny last second. That is true. That is true. That was. That was insane. The person who suggested that si shiny hunt had just left, and then we catch him, like, immediately after. That's just insane. I hope he finds it funny what I did, too. It's not mean for anybody uh, wondering out there. We nicknamed the squirrel Thanks Pat just just as a joke. Like, I hope he knows it's a joke, too. Um, Sam says, up to 390 out of 400. Nah, dude, you're going to get it today. I believe in you, Sam. I did not mean to run into that Halucha. That is a non-shiny boy for us. Uh, you got this, Sam. And then as soon as Sam gets his shiny charm, I know for a fact he's going to be shiny hunting like crazy. Alright, so let's see if any of these boys want to pop up for us. Nice and sparkly and shiny. And... Doesn't look like that's the case. That's all right. Because like I said, we're doing the angel technique, which has come in really, really handy for quite a few shinies for us, including iron hands, iron thorns, and sandy shocks. Uh, MJ says, if you don't get him shiny, I'll give you my spare. I appreciate it, MJ, but you keep your spare, dude, because you never know. Somebody might uh be willing to uh trade shiny for shiny for him. But either way, I appreciate it, MJ. Uh, Nigel says, the Pokemon Center near the town, uh, close to the Poison Crew Team Star, I think, has a bunch. Gotcha. If we don't get him today, then we'll try him again one day. Um, and definitely for a shiny. But something tells me we're pro we might get him. He just might be super, super late into the shiny hunt. Without a doubt. Sam says, I need Sewer Lich. Uh, that is the Violet Exc I might have him, Sam. I actually might have him. I could give it to you, my man. Let me check after. Dakota with 100 stars. <laughs> God. Uh, Dakota says, I need a shotgun. So they do you and me both. Uh, thank you for the 100 stars, Dakota. Yeah. We've been playing that off stream, but we still, guys, don't have good guns. We have 30 hours into this game, me and this guy. And we literally, uh, do not have him yet. Uh, Anthony says, MJ, I have an extra shiny pair, uh, uh, an extra paradox shiny for it if you want it. Ooh, what's the extra one? Uh, Mar uh, Anthony, not Martin. Sorry, wrong person. Uh, Sam says, thanks, man. You're welcome, dude. You're welcome. I'll check. I'm pre I'm, I'm like eighty percent to ninety percent sure that I do indeed have him. Sh uh, have him. He won't be shiny, but he is 
one that you need because he is a vital excuse. So I'm pretty sure I have him. Uh, MJ asks, what's the shiny? I'm curious, too. What is your extra shiny uh, Paradox Pokemon? All right, so let's go ahead and climb back up to check out the den up here. Uh, Anthony says, I have Iron Moth, Bundle, and Thor. Ooh, Iron Thorns is a good, good one. I was glad we got him shiny that day. That continued our shiny luck right there. We got both him and Iron Hands out of one run. And Valiant. Valiant's also good. I, we only got one of him, surprisingly, that day. But, uh, still, that's a very good one. Both him and Iron Thorns. Uh, for M MJ, if you don't remember, Iron Valiant is the Glade. And Iron Thorns is the Tyranitar from the future. That both look incredible, though. I'm not going to lie. Iron Moth, I was kind of eh to uh, Bundle. I'm trying to remember who Bundle was. I believe that's the Deli Bird. MJ says, I'll take the Valley. All right, sweet. Because I know MJ here has been wanting that one for a while. I thought that was it for a minute. It was just a different group of Pokemon. Damn it. Uh, MJ says, I remember that. Okay, I wasn't sure. My bad, MJ. My bad. I was trying to remember it for myself, too, right there, because I was like, wait, which one's Iron Bundle? And it just dawned on me, oh, wait, that's, that's the Deli Bird. That's right. Uh, how much time do we got? We still got about ten minutes left for this hunt. And so far, nada. Uh, Anthony says, okay, when I get home, I got you almost there. Okay, sweet. Yeah, uh, so he's not home right now, MJ. He's currently on the tra he's on a train right now, heading home. Uh, I do remember that. So no, no worries at all. And MJ says, "Okay, all right, sweet. No worries, though. That's a good one. Those are two good shiny Pokemon for a trade for trade shinies. Which again, I don't mind that in chat, and I don't mind people like uh, offering to do raids and things like that. That is perfectly a okay to me because it keeps you guys." Uh, cause especially if I'm doing like a shiny hunt, for example, because like I'm not, because obviously we're not doing raids or anything at that point, so it's a way for you guys just to keep having fun, find new people to play the game with. All right, so let's see. Come on, Halucha, you know you want to be shiny for us, my guy. Oh, uh, but yeah, Dakota and I plan on doing uh, Seven Days Dice Night, which that is one of my off-stream games that I play with him, and for him it is his off-work game, and I absolutely have been having a blast playing that game with him. It's a lot, a lot of fun. Last night, however, we were playing it, it was a little bit buggy. We don't know what was going on. Like, uh, <laughs> we had no idea, but hopefully tonight it will not be too, too bad, and we're actually almost to the point of where we can make uh, trucks. Like, I literally just need one item in the game, and me and him can actually make trucks to make the game a little bit, a little bit more, uh, more adventurous for he and I. Um, Anthony says, you got this much love to you, Anthony. Not just as upstrength in the community to help everyone. It does. It really, really does. Like, I 100% agree. Because some people, like, uh, they don't like, you know, like, oh, no, don't, don't, don't do this, don't do that. Maybe, I don't care. Like, it is fine. It definitely helps strengthen the community to help out each other and also to uh, just find new people to play games with, without a doubt. Let's see. Uh, Peyton says, what's the game you're playing? Seven Days to Die on PC. That's what me and he, what he and I have been playing. I'm not a PC player, so I use a, a Xbox One controller for it because I don't find my and keyboard all that comfortable. So every time we play, I do that, and he plays mouse and keyboard. He's he is a P, he's a PC gamer <laughs> and a console gamer, but he's been using mouse and keyboard for it, which does make it a little bit easier. But eh. <laughs> uh, Daniel says, "Come on, Halucha, yes, let us hope he shows up. If not, you guys know what it'll do." That is a bullshit number, chat. I was thinking it was somebody I actually knew because uh. I kind of am waiting on a call to see if I can get that space tonight. Uh, Anthony, or I'm sorry, Peyton says, ah, oh, gotcha, gotcha. Don't have a PC, only a PS5 and Switch. I, well, obviously I have a PC, otherwise we wouldn't be able to be streaming this. But yeah, Dakota made me a good, good PC 
for gaming as well as being able to stream to you guys out there. And plus it helps that I have actual really good internet to be able to uh, play games. I'm not a PC player myself, uh, but if it's a game on PC that I can use a controller with, I'm fine with that. <laughs> but if it's mouse and keyboard, man, I I just can't do it. I'm so, so terrible when it comes to mouse and keyboard. It's because, like, um, for one thing, I don't find it comfortable. Ever two, I have short, fat fingers, which are not good. And plus, like, I type a lot, so, like, it throws me off. Like, try to <laughs> move over to that. Uh, Dakota says, it's a good free PC anyway. Hey, dude, I love this PC. I absolutely love it. Love the case for it. Love the fact how fast it is. And, I, and you know, Dakota, one day, one day, I am going to pay you back for it, my man. I am indeed going to pay you back for it. Uh, Peyton says, I can't get into the keyboard part. I can use the mouse really well, though. Yeah, I, see, I've never been able to do it. I've never been able to do it for mouse and keyboard. I, I've tried. I've tried to sit down before with certain games to, uh, to see if, uh, you know, I can at least get used to it for some games where you can't use, uh, a controller. There's there are some uh, out there, but majority of the time I'm just like ah, it doesn't feel natural. It doesn't feel right to me, so I just switch over to a controller. But either way, if somebody's a controller player or a master keyboard, as long as we're enjoying the game, that is what uh matters. Uh, Dakota says it took me a while to get used to keyboard. It took me about a month of constant use to get down. Yeah, I remember you saying that. You just had to kind of sit down to be able to get used to it. But like I said, I, I just can't do it. There's some things in the game I have to use my keyboard and mouse for, like uh, searching and things like that, because you can't do it with the controller. I'm just like, ugh, ugh goodness. Uh, Nigel says, I found mouse and keyboard uh, and switched the most comfortable, even though I played the original Xbox for most of you. Uh, the, the Joy-Cons to me aren't that comfortable. Uh, they're definitely better than the Wii. I will say that, than the Wii uh, motion controls. Like, way, way better. Uh, they're just so small, and I kind of have, like, weird shaped hands. Dakota says, even now I have a fat, well, fat four different key at once. Dude, it happens. It does indeed happen. Uh, and plus, like, I don't want to have to look down at my keyboard if I'm, like, getting my ass kicked in the game. Like, what? What key do I press for this? And I can't do it. Anthony says, I couldn't get into any other game on PC unless it was Pokemon LOL. PC isn't for me. Hey, that is perfectly fine. Like I said, when I play PC games, I always use a controller. Always, always. And the good thing about the one uh, computers nowadays is like, it, it, say for example, uh, Peyton here, for example. He, uh, he has a PS5, so he's probably not used to Xbox controllers. He could literally... Plug in a PS5 controller to his computer if he got a uh, PC game and just use it from there. Hey, welcome back, Simon. Welcome back, bro. Uh, we haven't given away our Pokemon yet, uh, my man. Uh, Dylan says, I like the Hori Pro Pad controllers and their wireless ones. I have not heard of those. Um, for the Switch, I use, it's an Afterglow controller that honestly feels super comfortable and you get to customize the lights as back pedals which i took the back pe back pedals off because i don't typically use it because i feel with the back pedals to me they it feels kind of weird it doesn't feel natural so i took those off but it's wire. it also comes wireless um that has a charge to it and they're not too expensive they're actually really really good and they don't come with uh i've had this one for over a year and just no drift issues at all for it um, Sam says, have we found it yet? I had to step away. No, we haven't found it yet, unfortunately, Sam. Uh, Dakota says, Steam OS should help when it comes out. It could be a setup for just controller support. True. Very, very true. Uh, see, Dakota here knows way, way more about computer stuff than I would probably ever know. I've always been a console guy when it comes to it. Oh, come on, Halucha. Show up shiny for us. Simon says, phew. <laughs> yeah, no, we're, you're good, Simon. You are good, my man. We haven't given out shinies. Uh, Nigel here cannot get a shiny right now due to the fact that uh, he's at work. But since he's been watching for a while and he was here for it, I am going to save at least one egg for him uh, to go from there. 
And I know Anthony is on the train right now. Martin went to go take care of his kid to put him to bed, and we just kind of go from there. Um, Dakota says... 8-Bit Do also makes some great controllers. Never heard of them. I've never heard of them. Dylan says, I have to check it out. Okay, man. <clears throat> like I said, I want to say I paid like 25 bucks for the wi The wired one's 25 and I believe the wireless is about 40 for it. And it's, uh, I don't remember if it's USB-C ch uh, charge port for the wireless ones. But either way. Definitely, definitely, definitely uh, good controllers to have for the Switch. <laughs> the Alucha just, uh, just running into the wall. Uh, Pate says, never heard of that. E uh, oh, he meant either. <laughs> that either. Jeez, I can't type today. It's all good, man. You can't type, and I can't speak. We're a match made for each other, Peyton. How much time do we even have left? All right, so yeah, we're probably not going to get our Alucha. So honestly... This is the first one that we, a shiny hunt that we have failed in quite a long time, if that's the case. Unless he just magically appears at the very, very last seconds of this hunt, which I doubt. But either way, we might have failed this one, but that is all right. Because uh, we still got two Pokemon, one pretty good one, one that's a double, and then the other one. No. <laughs> uh, yep. So that was the end of that sandwich. Double check. Yep. So we're gonna close the game real quick so we don't lose our Herbal Mystica right there. Open it back up, and then we're gonna give out some shiny Pokemon to you guys before we do that. Um, Nigel, are you still here, my man? Because I want to make sure, uh, because, you know, he, he's been watching for a while, and um, this was just kind of out of a blue area thing for it. He doesn't have uh, Wi-Fi right now <clears throat> for a Switch, so we'll definitely make sure to save him one. Because, like I said, this is all, this is, uh, let me check, let me go to it, in fact, real quick. Yeah, so this is old stock, so we have 12 Pokemon, so we do, we definitely do have a lot. So we're going to connect to the internet, go ahead and put that code in, and we'll give out a few for today. And we'll probably give out some more tomorrow as well, because I doubt we'll be able to give out all of them today. But yeah, this is old stock from last Shiny Sunday. Two, two, three, five. All right, sweet. So I give everybody a second to put that code in, and we'll give out some Shiny Pokemon before I end today's session. Uh, Nigel says, I have some Joy-Cons that, that I need to see what's wrong with them. They came with my hybrid Switch, but I can't test them. Uh, that they, that they can reliably test if I fix them. I'm still there. Okay, sweet. So, yeah. Nigel will definitely save you a Pokemon, but like I said, we're probably not going to give out all of them today. Uh, do you, what exactly is the problem with them, Nigel? Do you know? I do, um, if I remember correctly, I think this is a real product, come to think of it. I believe that, um, they are coming out with GameCube Joy-Cons, uh, next. Anthony says, I'm back, MJ, I got you after this. All right, sweet, Anthony, sweet. Sam says, do you have that one I need? Oh, yeah, 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 um, so, okay, uh, let me check real quick for you. I believe I do, in fact, have that for you. Uh, my man, let me check. You needed Sewer Ridge, so let me check him. I completely apologize for that, Sam. I forgot, so... Yeah, yeah, I have two of them. I have two of them, man. So, yeah, I will definitely get you one. Uh, for right now, it'll be, you know, our shiny giveaway stuff. And then later on, we will... Uh, before I end the stream, I will make sure to give Sam here the Pokemon that he needs for his to go towards his shiny charm. But all right, so we had the code up for a minute, so let's go ahead and do this. Three, two, 
one, start searching, and good luck, everybody. Nigel says thank you, but you are absolutely welcome, Nigel. Sam says it's all good, man. Thank you. Yeah, dude, don't worry. I am going to give them to you before today's session is over. Like, I'm glad you reminded me because I did forget. I apologize for that. So let's see who we got. We got Anthony. Anthony gets the first shiny egg. All right. So I'm not going to let you guys pick the numbers. I'm just going to... Uh, I'm just going to go in order. Why not? We're just going to go in order for right now. Because, because, again, it's not Shiny Sunday, and I'm just giving these out to give them out to you guys. So we're just going to go row to row for it. Uh, we'll probably do the first six uh, today. And then tomorrow we will also do um, the other six. So that way we have our inventory of old Shiny Pokemon gone. If they're not Shiny... Let me know, and we will fix that, because we did have a couple of Pokemon that were not shiny, in fact. Nigel says, not sure uh, there are connection issues and different things wrong with each one. My Switch has connection issues, because no, it's not connecting with my Joy-Cons that I know are good. Uh, it might be... Mm, I don't know, man. I don't know. Anthony says, thank you. You are welcome, Anthony. And Anthony also says, MJ, you're up. Yes, for your shiny for shiny trade. All right. And if we get, and Sam, if we get you, not only will you get a shiny egg, but I'll go ahead and give you the Pokemon that you need as well, my man. All right. So give everybody here a second. MJ says, I'm still trying to get a shiny egg. Hey, no worries. Like, I'm sure Anthony understands. I'm sure he understands. Like I said, if you guys get one that is not shiny, just let me know. I will, in fact, fix it. I will, in fact, fix it. Because we did have that issue with a couple of eggs. But, like I said, mistakes happen, so we just go from there. Sam says, okay. All right, sweet, Sam, sweet. All right, so let's get our second one out, guys. Three, two, one. Start searching, and good, good luck, everybody. Anthony says, I sure do. Yep, see, Anthony here understands, MJ. Anthony, because who does love shiny Pokemon? All right, so the second person has been found. Let's see who we got. We got MJ. MJ, congratulations. Like I said, I'm not letting you guys pick, just to make it go a little bit faster. Uh, Shiny Sunday is when you guys get to pick your number for the egg and Pokemon and this and that, but congratulations to MJ. And again, if they are not shiny, just let me know. <laughs> That's probably the shiny Sprigatitos. The shiny Sprigatitos. I just got my shiny Sunday that I had to correct. And he says, let's go, MJ. Hell yeah. So we got four more to give out. Nigel says, I really need a third switch. That's good to test the Joy-Cons, but that's a bit of a stretch for the budget. Ah, yeah. Unless you know somebody who just happens to have one, my man. And we've officially been live for three and a half hours, everybody. Uh, MJ says it was. <laughs> I figured it was. Congratulations, though, MJ. <clears throat> uh, actually, I'll tell you what. Uh, the We'll do three more shinies for today. The very, very last one. Okay, so that is the code for Anthony for him. Um, We'll do three more because the last one I will save for Nigel. Hey, if you guys don't get one, don't worry. Don't fret. You guys know we give out Pokemon here all the time. It's not our shiny Sunday, but I figured, you know, we've had a good day today, so let's give out to the community today as well. Because if we have extra, I'll just do them at whatever time I feel like during the week. All right. But for everybody else that has not won one, won one yet, let's get this next code started. So, three, two, one, start searching, and good luck to everybody. Dakota says, but I like to worry. Funny thing was, I actually ran into Dakota yesterday there uh, when I was uh, at the store. I just He just comes up right by me and just starts flipping me off. I'm like, I don't know that middle finger anywhere. All right, we got Sam. Congratulations, Sam. So not only is Sam going to get here his egg, but he is also going to get the Pokemon that he needs. All right, so there we go. He got his routes. Uh, I believe he's in box seven or eight. I can't remember, but we're going to look for him so we can give Sam the Pokemon he needs to go towards his shiny charm because I have two of them, luckily, on this copy. All right, so sweet. Sam, congratulations, my man. All 
Oh, goodness. And like I said, don't worry. Tomorrow we will give out eggs as well for the last bit of our lot. And then Saturday, it'll be raids, shiny hunts, and then, of course, Sunday will be our big, big giveaway. Okay, so let's go get Sam here. His Pokemon. There he is. He's only level 15, but, I mean, he just needs me for the decks on this boy. So there you go, Sam. And he's giving us a bomb sweet. Sweet. I didn't mean for that to go like that, but day it worked. But all right, sweet. Hope that helps you out, Sam. Anthony says, MJ, Halucha looks fucking amazing. I told you, he's a really, really good shiny, man. Sam says, oh, good. All right, sweet, bro. Sweet. Yeah, I told you, Anthony. He's a really, really great shiny to have. Uh, I'm glad I got the rate. I'm really enjoying these radi radiant cards that we've been getting uh, for certain sets, too. I don't know if the newest one has any or not. I, like I said, I need to look up the uh, list for the Crown Zenith uh, set. Sam says lots. Good, good. I'm glad it helps you out, my man. All right. But either way, enjoy your shiny and the Pokemon to help with your decks, my man. Sweet. All right. So let me go ahead and go back to our box of shiny Pokemon. Give you guys that have not won one yet a second. And we will go from there. So we have, we have two more to give out today. Because this last one right here, we're going to save for Nigel. Because he doesn't have Wi-Fi right now. And in case he doesn't win one tomorrow, we will uh, definitely get it for him then. Uh, MJ says, Anthony, yes he does. Dude, he is a very, very good shiny, without a doubt. Uh, and don't forget, uh, I know some people are asking about this. Uh, hey, Anthony says, yo, Blake, from the egg, shiny Bweasel has landed. Hell yeah, bro. GG's. Sam says, thank you, sir. You are absolutely welcome, Sam. And again, uh, like I said, I'm not going to be doing, I know Greninja officially comes out tonight for a lot of people. Uh, it'd be six o'clock my time, which is like three and a half hours, four hours, something along those lines. But anyways. Um, I will not be doing that tonight, but if you guys are looking for people here in the community that want to do them, make sure to check out our Discord for it and just say, hey, anybody want to do some uh, Greninja raids right now? Because I know some people are asking about that, so you guys can do that. And also, we do have voice channels if you guys want to communicate better with each other as well for it. Uh, so feel free to use our discord as it's meant to be used guys and if you guys beat him good good luck and good job guys but all right let's give out our second to last pokemon of the day so for everybody who hasn't won yet three two one start searching and good good luck everybody that has not won yet Like I said, we are almost done with today's session. So let's see who wins the second to last one. It is Dylan. Dylan, congratulations, my man. And like I said, I'm just going in order with these just to make it go a little bit faster today. But either way, I hope you all get something really, really incredible from these eggs. And if you don't, let me know if it's not shiny. That way I can fix it for you. Just because we did have that issue twice, Shiny Sunday. It's unfortunate, but it does happen from time to time. So if it does happen again, you guys know I will do my best to fix it. Alright, then after Dylan, we have one more egg for today because we're going to save the very, very last one for Nigel. Dylan says, thank you. You are welcome, Dylan. You are welcome. Just let me know who you hatch, my man. Because I'm always interested in knowing Because I don't even know what's in these eggs most of the time. Alright, so we got one more chat. Because like I said, the last one we're going to save for uh, Nigel here. Because he asked to save. He asked if we would save one for him because he doesn't have a way to participate in this last minute event thing that I decided to do. So, I try to keep things fair, so I was like, yeah, sure, why not? 
All right, so I'm going to give everybody a minute to get that code ready and up. And again, if you've already won one, please don't put the code in again. Uh, just because just because I want everybody here to have a chance. Like, uh, We want to make sure that everybody can leave at least a little bit happy. I know it's not our Sunday to where everybody leaves happy. But it is something, at the very, very least. God damn it, Nigel. Okay, I'm not holding it for Nigel anymore. I'm kidding. Nigel says, thank you, shi shiny Dior. Martin says, did you save my one? This is the last one for today, Martin. This is the last one. I am saving one for Nigel. And then we will also give out some more tomorrow as well. We'll do it. We'll do the rest. So whoever wins the last one, that will be the final, final shiny Pokemon that we give out for today. Because we're saving Nigel one. And just kind of going from there. Because he's the first one to ask. Because he doesn't have a way to participate. God damn it. Daniel says, haha, shiny D word. God damn it. Dakota with 45 stars saying, I shiny P word. Thank you for the 45 stars, Dakota. God damn it. <laughs> but alright, guys. Let's get started. Why do I keep laughing at that? I hate, I hate that I get called that. I hate that that is the legacy I'm going to leave behind for you guys. Is that. Hey, MJ got shiny Squawkabilly. Nice, MJ. Very, very nice. Mart says, damn it. <laughs> but alright, guys. Final Pokemon. If you haven't if you already won one, please do not put the code in. Let's <laughs> somebody laughed at Daniel's comment. Good God. Alright, so let's give out this last one. So three, two, one. Start searching and good, good luck, everybody. All right, so let's see who gets the final shiny egg of today. Like I said, we'll do the full row tomorrow as well once we are done with raids. Uh, it just like I said, this was the last minute thing to get rid of uh, older stuff. And I just says, cool, which color? Oh, yeah, there are four. We got Simon. Simon has won the final egg for today, everybody. Congratulations, Simon. Congratulations, brother. I like it. Uh, Anthony says, just joined Discord. Hey, welcome to the Discord community, uh, my man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, I, I've i missed some stuff in uh, that. Dylan says, got shiny Sir Skip. That is a good one to have. That is good, because Masquerade actually uh, has a really, really good shiny, so congratulations on that, Dylan. Oh, goodness. We haven't done a shiny giveaway in a while on our Discord because I don't know how to set it up myself, but as soon as I figure out how to do it, like uh I will start doing some more in there, without a doubt. Uh but again, congratulations, Simon. And like I said, the last one, that one is Nigel's. We will save it for him. But don't fret, guys, I will be giving out the Last row that we have from our old stock uh, tomorrow. Simon says, thank you, sir. You are absolutely welcome, Simon. You are absolutely welcome, my man. Hopefully you get something good. All right. So, like I said, that was our very last Pokemon that we are doing for today's. I'm going to go ahead and throw down another save. Put the controller down and go from there, everybody. Boom. There we go. But all right. Sweet. But okay, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, and fish people of all ages, I have stuff, unfortunately, that I have to do. I have to go adult. Nigel says thank you, but you're welcome, Nigel. I have to go adult uh, in a little bit, uh, but quick reminder, tomorrow we will be doing Greninja. We'll be doing Greninja majority of the day. And like I said, we will also give out those eggs, but we'll be doing Greninja both Friday and Saturday. We will not be doing it Sunday, because Sunday is our big, big shiny giveaway that I have named Shiny Sunday, you know, since starting it. Uh, but we will have, like I said, we will have starter Pokemon. We will have Froakies to give out in eggs for it. Uh, we will also have a big, big prize Pokemon. That is one time only one that I will not say what the Pokemon is to hatch for it. But as soon as somebody gets it, they will get a big bonus with their Pokemon. And it's going to be a ton of fun. And I'm looking forward to it. Anthony says, I'm there for a hey, sweet Anthony. And Dakota says, I'm a... 
Good God, Dakota. Um, but yeah, so just as heads up, we will be doing that. If you guys are look again, if you guys are looking to do them tonight, uh, make sure to check out our Discord for anybody that is doing them tonight, so that way you guys can uh, possibly get one before I even go live tomorrow. That would be awesome. And we will also have more information about Greninja as well officially tomorrow, so that way we will know what to use. Um, but we already kind of have a good idea. I'm going to be using Gastrodon and Clodsire for it. It's going to be a ton of fun. Dylan says, I'll catch you in your next stream. Much love to you, Dylan, and we will catch you next time, my man. But all right, guys. Uh, I have my chat down. So, like always, thank you guys so much for your likes, your shares, your follows, and your stars. It means the absolute world to me. And until tomorrow, guys, always, always, always remember, stay awesome and stay positive. Bye, everybody. We'll catch you tomorrow.